Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How is everybody? Oh. Welcome to another um, arena, mashallah. Um, now, the arena is a stream that's dedicated for non Muslims to come and challenge Islam. So it's kind of like a virtual speaker's corner. And so it's for non Muslims only. So it's not for Muslims. Am I muted? I'm not muted. I'm not muted. What are you saying I'm muted for? Anyway, so um, it's just for non-Muslims. So if you're a Muslim, please don't waste your time. Because as soon as we know you're a Muslim, we'll just remove you. Okay? So it's for non-Muslims, atheists, Christians, and such. Now, this is the this is the challenge for you today. We, we do this as the 50, 57th, I think it is. You can challenge Islam directly. Yeah? You can challenge Islam directly by challenging the teachings of Islam, the Quran, Muhammad, Islam, all of these things. Yeah? Or you can challenge Islam indirectly by challenge by presenting what you believe to be true: Christians, Hindus, atheists, agnostics, whatever it may be. You can do that, and that will indirectly challenge Islam. And so we're here to welcome you one at a time and knock you out of the park. Okay. And uh, I have a couple of gladiators joining me. I've got brother Al Yamani. Salam alaikum, Ahi. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, look, look, at his eye. look at his eye. Everybody concentrate on his eye. <laughs> <laughs> you, have to, you have to zoom everyone in on my eye. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Not around my eyes, but in my eyes. <laughs> and then, of course, we've got this guy who's riding high now because Chelsea just beat Luton. How are you Andola. doing, sir? Assalamu alaikum, alaikum, my guys. Good to be here. I hope the audio is okay, inshallah. Yeah, fantastic, man. Quality mic. Yeah, quality mic. Sounds good. It's, it's nice to have you guys uh, in the room. It's been a while, mashallah. Uh, Abdul Rahman is joining as well from TAP, but uh, he's, I think he's running a little bit late. Um, anyway, inshallah. All right, so you guys chat amongst yourselves while I just do a little bit of, um, a little bit of housekeeping. A little bit of housekeeping, okay. Mm. Uh, Yamini, how are you doing? <laughs> Hello, bro. A little rough, but as you can tell. You look good, alhamdulillah. <laughs> alhamdulillah. How are you doing, bro? Oh, it's been good watching the Kadiani stuff happening recently. It's uh, mm. a little bit unusual. A lot of the strange and odd claims that they've been making. Uh, sorry to hear that your debate fell through, but I think uh, you didn't need to debate uh, that particular uh, Kadiani. He's not that good. <laughs> uh, no, it's not good at all. But obviously, he was the target because he's one of, if not the biggest polemic polemicist Polemicist. among. Yes. Yeah, that's the only reason. It's got nothing to do with his intelligence. The man doesn't even know what cross examination is. I was actually quite shocked at that. You know, for a person who whose specialty, I want I want the audience to understand this. Kadianis are a uh, they were a group out of uh, India um, who play dress as Muslims, uh, but they aren't exactly Muslims. Uh, mm. They believe a, that. A, their founder was and is the Messiah, that he's the reflection of Maryam alayhi salam. He is the reflection of Jesus. He is a prophet after Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Yeah, he, he fills many roles and uh, that's basically who they believe in instead of the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa So it's really yeah. strange, really strange. And uh, I think Brother Yemeni uh, tried to engage with them, but uh, they were making like some weird requests. They wanted Brother Yemeni to get all the Muslim du'at to upload videos of their debates. Why Why would we do that? Why Why, why would that be a debate condition? A little it's bit like, ridiculous. And the thing is, it's like, you know, it's like a control that aspect of it. And the worst thing is like I tweeted it earlier because obviously yeah. then, and, and I was like, the guy wanted me to mention two specific people that I'm representing. And I was like, yeah. hold on a second. But in the DMs, I told you that I'm representing Islam, the religion. Yeah. And Muslims as a, as a, as a whole in general. And you're worried about two people. <laughs> but that goes to show, because both of those people who he's referring to, they are stalwarts in the Dawah world. And they've recently made videos, if not a year ago for one of them, a series yes. of videos demonstrating why 
the leader of that cult and its founder was a false prophet. Not that we needed to prove it, right? Uh, but uh, yeah, it just goes to show that they don't have a response to the claims being made publicly and that they have to resort to, uh, you know, brigading with like fake Twitter accounts. Like one person I engaged with from their cult but like five different accounts. So if you have that amount of free time, something's wrong there, I would say. Yeah, exactly. And um, I was actually thinking of this, it's like because now they've sort of brought themselves out of the shadows and by coming to Speaker's Corner and all of that, I was thinking, like, imagine that. Like, you guys have been bragging about the uh, British Empire and all of this and how great they are. And it'll be the Muslims who come from the UK that are going to be the ones to take you out. <laughs> and I was like, the, the irony of that subhanallah you know alhamdulillah that you know as muslims we have a very clear definition foundation for what we believe we know that iman is to believe that there is only allah there is none equal to him and that muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his final messenger that's yeah. it it basically sums it up pretty easy for us if you're a qadiani uh, in fact, uh, that particular group, I asked one of them, uh, do you know who the last prophet is? And he's like, no. I'm like, what do you mean you don't know who the last prophet is? So his exp explanation was, there's the prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and then Mirza Gullah Muhammad, who is another prophet, uh, and then there was uh, 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 you Sunni Muslims believe that Jesus will return. And so there could be others that come and I'm like, I've, I, I, I thought just having one after the Prophet, peace be upon him, was bad. But to yeah. not know how many more <laughs> we were expected to believe in is a little bit uh, uh, the, the thing is, you're not, well, that's why you have the split within the Qadiani groups as well. Because they don't believe that Mirza Ghulam is the last one either. They believe that there could be someone else after him. And in and fact, believe, would, yeah. Yeah, in fact, they even go to the point where they say, if you become a good enough person, you could be elevated to becoming a prophet. Like, what? I mean, it's it's it's. I mean, it's not too far off Hinduism, where if you're good enough, you could go from a rat to a human being. <laughs> it's like uh, it's a bit like Mormonism, where anyone can become anything if you just believe long enough. Okay, I yes. think Mr. Hamza is back, still getting his uh, tea done. Probably not. Yeah. So I guess we can use this opportunity to say subscribe to Yemeni Front on YouTube and the Calling Christians YouTube channel. Yeah. Um, salam yeah. alaikum. Sorry about that. Right. Everything's so slow mode is pinned. Now we're just waiting to deal with the um, brave non Muslims. You, you said uh, Abdul Rahman is on the way, yeah? So, Abdul Rahman, yes, mashallah, alhamdulillah. Okay. We've got a, uh, I've got an administrator today. She's going to be um, vetting the chat, so she'll be in the private chat finding out who's who. So at least we have an idea of who's coming with what. Yeah, so someone right, saying in the comments that the link isn't attached. The oh. link isn't. Oh, <gasps> Hamza, oh. Hamza. In that case, so I put, I put here's the link, and then no link. Yeah. I, yeah. I got excited with the ha 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 wa ha ha ha. <laughs> all right, all right. We can see it. Yeah. <laughs> no, no wonder no one's coming. <laughs> oh God, how do I that? Oh, well, right. we want to encourage people. Like, guys, this isn't. Uh, you're not going to get beat up. You're going to get intellectually uh, destroyed. But you're welcome <laughs> to try. <laughs> you're going to get knocked out of the park. All right, one second, one second. All right, let me remove that. All right, that's done. And we do it again. Okay. Let's see, Bismillah. You wanna add the link this time? I will add the link. Okay. Yeah, someone in the chat is surprised that the Qadianis have a split. You need to understand that the Qadianis are not united. They're not united at all. But it's a bit like Christians where everyone like just makes up a little bit of their belief as they go along. It's the same thing, same thing. It's a little bit erratic and eclectic, very well mixed. 
Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sure. <laughs> okay, I think the link is attached. Make sure. Bismillah. Still not pinned. Okay. Hamza is working hard of it. Hard at it, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there we go. It's almost there done. Is. Let's see. Bismillah. He's got it. It's done. On the lock. I'm talking like I'm muted as well. Uh, yeah, get ready for the crowds. They're coming. Inshallah. Inshallah. You mean the hordes? The hordes. Yeah. Have you played Shadow of War, Ijaz? No, I've not. Shadow of War. Yeah. I've not heard of. I've not heard of it. Oh, it's like um, Lord of the Rings lore, uh, bro. Okay. If if you Is check out my uh, gaming stream, uh, I I play every day from. Um, Shadow of War. Let me look like midnight up. until Fudger. Oh, that's Shadow oh. of War. Oh, okay, it's like on the PC. Like, okay, yeah, I see it. Is it new, Hamza? Nah, nah, it's old game, bro. But the, you know the the, uh, the there's this, like this Nemesis engine. It's called yeah, and it was only copyrighted for these people for this game, and the AI is is just incredible. Absolutely incredible. Just to play it for the AI and the interaction and you know, the way the orcs remember you the last time you killed them. You thought you killed me, but here I am again. You know, that type of thing. It's really, really, really okay. good. Yeah, it's nice. got really high reviews on Steam. Okay, I might check it out and show Oh, it's a game and a half, bro. It's a game and a half. All right, I'm gonna bring is the first mul- is it multiplayer? Uh no, 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 it's just single player, just single player. But uh, it's really good. And then you what you start doing is um you start dominating the orcs and building your orc army, and then you start so you like you you like tame the orcs and then you use them against the orcs. It's it's good. It's like building an empire then, almost like. Yeah, then you have to take on their fortresses and then it, it's it's really good. Okay. Anyway, okay, all right, let me just have the first guest. Um, Bismillah. Uh, if I can find the exact, I think that's what I need. Let me just see. Yes, that's it. Okay, Adlad, you muted, mate. Up. Oh, and he's gone. Awesome. Okay, uh, Diallo. Diallo. You're muted, mate. He says he's not ready. Huh? He yeah. says he's not ready. He's not ready. Yeah. I can't be bothered putting Frank on. <laughs> Do it, Jazz. I, I'm good. I, 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 trust, I trust your judgment. Good what do you want, Frank? All right, Frank. Oh, well, first I'll say I'll say hello to El Yemeni. So, yeah, yeah, Muhammad, isn't it? Is that your name? Yes, that's right. Yeah, we had we had quite a good chat at Speaker's Corner about a month or so ago. Yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, Hamza, like my and Ijaz, uh, my issue is one second, one second, one second. Let me set the timer. You got one minute to tell us your. Idiotic point. One second. Let me just. Uh... And I'm preempting your idiotic point because your points generally are idiotic, but we'll see. All right, one second. Um, go. Okay. My my God is the most intelligent being, but you attribute to your God Surah 18, Surah 27, Surah 34, Surah 38. They're they're fairy stories. Ridiculous. And you, you say they're from God. They're, they're, they're... I'm not wasting my time with you, Frank. <laughs> I can't be bothered. We've done this. We've done this. He's, he's coming on, challenging miracles and, and, and miraculous stories. And uh, we've done this. We've danced this dance, and I'm not going to do it. Sorry. Sorry, Frank. I'm not doing that. You're mad. You're mad, blood. Uh, C-E. C. 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 What's going on, Hamza? Uh, okay. Uh, I don't know. See, are you there? You're not there? No? All right. Diallo, are you ready yet? He says, please ignore me for now. I'm occupied with the missus. Then why did you join the... I don't know why, I don't know why he joined. I'll try CE again. C! C! C is Muslim. C is Muslim, yeah? All right. Yeah. Let's go with it. Um, this is a good start. All right. Well, you got to. To be honest with you, their arguments are just lame, and that's the problem. They've kind of run out. 
You just got to separate the wheat from the chaff. Uh, you know? well, what's saddened me about Frank is when we had our chat in Speaker's Corner, I said to him, I was like, if you want to go down the story route, that's fine, but you got to go back to the basics. You got to disprove that we believe, you know, that the fact that the Quran comes from Allah, because at the end of the day, Allah is the primary witness to what has really happened. So what is re retelling in the Quran is the reality, regardless of what your Bible says. So if you want to disprove the stories and that they're fairy tales and whatnot, disprove that the Quran is from Allah. But he, he doesn't go down that route at all. He just keeps going on about the stories. Um, so it's quite... Well, that's what I'm saying to it's, just, it's just ridiculous, like as if like he's not reading the Bible and talking donkeys. Hmm. Baliamal. Frank, don't waste your time, dude. Uh, this is not EF Tower. Uh, Bali Amal. We banned him, by the way. Oh, honestly, honestly. Yeah. Okay. All right, no worries. Don't worry, they'll, they'll get they'll get in the gist of it. Yeah. I, I was going to use him as a I was going to use him as a warm up act, but I couldn't be bothered listening to him whinging on and on. And my God, is is he'll start? My God's an intelligent God, and then these things are fairy stories. <laughs> he's like an, he's talking like an atheist. I don't, I don't understand the logic. I think it's just entertainment for, for him at this point. Like if I was to become a Christian today, Allah forbid, I, and it was through the hands of Frank, I would not be a Christian. Right? My beliefs would not be, my beliefs would not fall into line with any known or recognized Christian church. Frank's beliefs are unique to him with some elements of Christianity to it. And I'm not interested, and I don't think anyone else is interested in joining Frank's new religion. Just same as Robin. Know. Robin Boom is the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They invented. I, they don't. They don't trust Paul, and he doesn't trust Paul. And the Bible's not reliable. Anyway, also flipping point, man. Do they realize that the whole point of converting from one religion to the other is because you believe that the other religion has more explanatory power? More reasonability. <laughs> Gears 23. Uh, hello, can you hear me? Yes. yes. Yep. Okay, so I had a question. Uh, Muslims are only allowed to marry four wives, right? Top two. One second, let me, let me just start the timer because this sounds like it's so pathetic, it's unreal. But I'm going to start it. And it doesn't apply to the Prophet Muhammad. So One second, go on. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. There you go, go on. So why didn't Prophet Muhammad married more than four wives? Okay, that, that's your question. Yes. Okay. What do you believe? You're Hindu. I'm a Muslim. No, no, I'm a Muslim. You're, you're, you're not Muslim. Yes, I'm asking because it's illogical. No. King Jesus. What does that mean, dude? Il I don't oh, mean right. to be a, a grammar Nazi, but uh, where was the salam? Where was the salam? It's like all right. Oh. King Jesus Muslim yes. quotation marks Yes What do you mean yes As if like what we don't <laughs> You want it in here bro What do you want <laughs> I mean the other guys The other we guys surprised were talking him. Like, yeah. The other guys were talking So I was being respectful Alright one second One second I'm going to set the I'm going to set the alarm You've got one minute you Ready Um, yeah. One second One second Go I find it weird with um, Muhammad's revelation that um, out of everybody, like in the Bible, in the Old Testament, New Testament, everybody that encounters an angel knew that they encountered an angel, but Muhammad didn't know that he encountered an angel. Why is that? Is that it? Yes. Why? Did Why? You know so your question is a simple one. You're Why saying you everybody in the New and the Old Testament. Yes. Whenever like they met an angel, angel one, one second. particularly Angel Gabriel, they knew oh. that they encountered one second, one second. Okay. Okay. So what you're saying is this in the old and the new testament, yes. the standard is this. Whenever an angel came to speak to a prophet, that prophet would recognize the angel as an angel. Yeah? yeah particularly Angel Gabriel. Yeah. An angel would recognize an angel, yes? Yeah, sure. But well, particularly okay. Angel Gabriel. Yes. Yeah. I'm helping you here, bro. I'm steel manning your position before we smash it to bits, but I'm going to okay. make sure we're smashing okay. to bits what you're saying. Okay. So, right. So, what you're saying is this. According to the standard of the Old Testament and the New Testament, 
-hmm. a prophet should recognize an angel when it speaks to him, yes? Yeah, particularly angel Gabriel, yes. All right. And your premise is, that's your premise, and Muhammad, peace be upon him, didn't recognize an angel, therefore he's not a prophet. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Therefore, that story about that story about him getting revelation from Angel Gabriel is false. He got it from a demon. No, no, one second, one second, one second. So what you're saying is because he didn't recognize the angel when it came to him, yes. then that means he's not a prophet. Based upon the standard a, of what the false old prophet, yes. say. He's a false prophet. Is that what you're saying? Yes. One of the reasons, but yeah, one of the reasons. No, no, so so, so it's a very simple process. The standard is a prophet should recognize an angel based upon the uh, the, the standard of the Old and New Testament. And yeah. because Prophet Muhammad Sallam didn't recognize the angel, therefore, according to that standard, he's not a prophet. That's what you're saying. That's not the main reason he's not a prophet, but... That's well, that's the main reason. That's a whole bloody story. What are you talking about? That's, that was your, that's your premise. That... What's your argument then? Your argument yeah. is... A prophet should recognize an angel. He didn't recognize an angel. Therefore, he's not a prophet. That's your argument. Yeah, it leads to that, yes. yes. No, no, it's not lead to that. That's your argument. It's, that's your premise. That's your conclusion. Khalas. Oh, yeah? Okay. okay. All right. Yeah. You, you so sound like you're not who, sure. Who would like to deal with that nonsense? No, no, but he sounds like he's not sure about his own conclusion. No, no, no. It's why I'm... 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 I'm, I'm Kind of like starting on that is because it's not the only reason why I consider Muhammad a false prophet. There are many, but reasons. it's is it the main one because that's what you entered with. That's just one of them. That's just one of them. It's okay, not really in Genesis, there. okay, easy answer here. In Genesis 18, did mm. Abraham recognize those three men as angels? As angels, um. I can't remember that story actually. The answer is no. I need to, I need to, <laughs> but wait, 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 wait. After the after the encounter, right? Did you figure it out that they were angels? Your whole point was that they need to recognize it immediately. No, no, no. That's point, that's not that's not my main. That's point. not your point. Because that's Muhammad not my main point. Salam, Like there's Muhammad another Salam. story. No, no, no. That's not my main point. My main point is that they see. Not maybe after the like there was a, I think there's a story in the Bible where I can't remember what in the Old Testament where um, there were some people that uh, an angel came to them in the form of a man and I think they were trying to do some sacrifice or something I can't remember the exact story but during the encounter they didn't know it was an angel but after that they figured it on their own nobody came and told them but Muhammad Zone he didn't know someone had to come and tell him that an, an angel appeared to him. The, the people, all the like all the stories um, that I've seen of people encountering angels, they figure it on their on their own that that person that this encountered is an angel, but Muhammad okay. didn't know at all. Okay, so in Genesis eighteen, did Abraham recognize them as angels? I can't remember that story. I'll have to. Okay, over. so I'll, here's what: go do your homework because on that basis, Abraham is not a prophet according to your own standard. Okay, one more thing. No, 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 no. You don't get one more go, thing. Go do the homework, Genesis. No, no, no. This is another point. point. No, no, there's no points. No, no, no. Do you concede that your point's stupid? No, 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 no. It's not. I, I, I It's not stupid. No. It's no, not. no, no. Would you? Okay. Do you can? Do you concede then that your principle, yeah, refutes your own belief in uh, Abraham as a prophet? Okay. Given that I've not <laughs> it's wait, okay. wait, 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 wait. let me compare. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Oh given wow. That, given that okay. I can't remember this story about Abraham. For that, for that, for that, I'll let you present your next stupid point. I can't remember this story about Abraham, so I will con I will consider yeah, well, that. Open it up. your next stupid point. Yeah. Okay. But another another thing I noticed with this Muhammad's encounter is that the angel told him to recite, and for some reason Muhammad could not recite. Told him like two or three times. Whereas in all the previous instances of Angel Gabriel meeting up with with people like Zechariah and um, like Daniel, 
once the angel says something, it happens because these guys come from the throne of God. They manifest the power of God. They don't need to say so. If they want to make someone capable to do something, it will happen because they are manifesting the power of God. Like we see it with Daniel when Daniel was, uh, I think when he was having this encounter, he wasn't strong. He was complaining that he was weak. And Angel Gabriel came and did something and all of a sudden he became strong. Then we see when uh, Angel Gabriel spoke to Zechariah and told him that he will, he will be blind. Uh, sorry, is he blind or dumb? Something like that. After the encounter, he became dumb. Told Mary that she would give birth. She gave birth. So what I'm saying is, you have instances where where you have an angel saying something. It's like God saying, "Let there be light," and there was light. You don't you don't, you don't have to say it a couple of times for it to happen. Once they say okay, something, do me manifest. a favor. Okay, yeah. do me a favor. Open your Bible for me. Okay, can you open your Bible for me? Uh, one moment. Sorry. Okay. Take your time. Tell yeah. me when you're ready. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm um, ready. I, okay, open it to, to the book of Isaiah. Isaiah. Chapter 29. Isaiah 29. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 29. Yes, yes. Okay. Tell me when you find it. Okay. And One I more. want you to read. Tell me when you're ready. Are you at Isaiah 29? Uh, not yet. Well, One moment. Okay, I'm here now. Yeah. Okay. Scroll down to verse 11 and read it for us. 11 and 12. Verse 11, where is it? And 12. The old vision has become to you like the words of a book that it is sealed, which, which men deliver to one who is literate, saying, read this, please. And it says, I cannot, for it is sealed. Then the book is delivered to one who is illiterate, saying, read this, please. And it says, I am not literate. Therefore, the Lord said, Inasmuch these people draw near with their mouths and honor me with their lips, but have removed their hearts far from me and, and their fear toward me stood by me. Okay. 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 Do you understand what you've just read? I need to read the full context, but from this verse, and saying, Was God telling Isaiah, who was telling Isaiah to God, right? To read the book. The old vision has become to you like the words of a book that is sealed, which men deliver to one who is literate, saying, please read this. And it says, I cannot, for it is sealed. Okay. From what I can see here, it's telling Isaiah to re re read read something. And Isaiah is saying he, cannot, he won't read it because it is sealed, which means it's not meant to be uttered, right? It's a secret. That's what I take from this. Then you didn't read it. Read it again carefully because you seem to be struggling with it. It says the old he's vision. Given, has... He's given a revelation and he says he can't read it. The Lord commands him to read it. He says, I can't read. And then the for revelation comes. He said, I cannot for it is sealed. That's the... his perception. And then he's commanded to read it a second time. Right? Is he commanded to read it again? No, it says the, then the book is delivered to one who is illiterate. So uh -huh. I'm guessing the book was given to another person who is an illiterate. That's what I take from this. Okay, then you haven't it says read it to one. Context. It says to one who is illiterate. It not says to Isaiah. I'm going to read it for you. I'm going to read it for you in a language you can understand. Okay. It's the New English Translation. Listen okay. to it carefully. Verse okay. 11 and 12. Okay. To you, this entire prophetic revelation is like words in a sealed scroll. When they hand it to one who can read and say, read this, he responds, I can't because it is sealed. Or when they hand the scroll to one who can't read and say, read this, he says, I can't read. And then the Lord says, these people are loyal to me. right? And it continues. They get the revelation because God gives it to them. Do you understand now? Mm. I'll take your point. Okay. That's two so for two. When you get time, go study that chapter well, I need to, and come back I to us to when you've understood it. Yes. All right.
Yeah, you made good points. Good man. Yeah. All right. Bye. Goodbye. Well done, Ijaz. That was really nicely done. Mashallah. I'll be right back then on that basis. <laughs> need to spice it up. Like poke a hornet's nest. Or so. Wait, hold on. I said I'm going to be right back. Yemeni leaves. Abdul Rahman is somewhere else. Guys, are we abandoning Hamza all at once? What's going Honestly, on? run! I'll deal, I'll deal with whoever comes, don't worry. I, I deal with everyone anyway. I, I just do likes anyway. I smash them all anyway. I, I just like to learn from you guys, you know what I mean? Do you need to go somewhere? Are you okay? No, I'm fine. It was just uh, something happened in the background. Okay. Fair, yeah. enough, fair enough, fair enough. So we're just waiting for these... Um... Is there no one else on the backtrack? At the moment, no. Oh, wow. Okay. No, they're um, they're all, they're all panicking. Ijaz is like tearing them up. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, but poor Christians, they they they've got they've got no chance with the you, you boys on here. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I mean, can't believe this stuff still circulates. It, it's pathetic, isn't it? Mm. I, I mean, I can't believe Frank is still um, going on. Do you get me? Why that's his only point as well. It's like he, he hasn't moved off that in months. What's that? No, he I know. He's, he, he seems to be getting bedraggled with it. Like growing, growing, growing his beard. And it's like, he looks like really uh, disheveled. All right. Let's see what this idiot's got. This is got oh, sorry. This this guest. One second. Mm -hmm. Hold me a second. Um, he's probably going to bottle it as soon as I put the link out. Do you know what I mean? Well, let's mm -hmm. see. Yes, mate. You muted. You muted. You muted. My God, just unmute yourself. <laughs> Changed his name to F you. <laughs> what a numpty. Oh. Oh, these people, man. These people, they see they can't get through my system now. You know my filters. Yeah, yeah, they they can't come and put their porn on or do anything. They're done. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. The two minute delay is not crazy because it's a thousand people in the chat and the moderators have to control it. And because there's so many triggered people here, all you triggered people in the chat, you're welcome to come and join us, man. Exactly. We're, we're happy. Why, to... why would they join us? If I were them, I wouldn't want to join either, right? I mean. Their, their convictions are clearly only surface level. If I was a Christian or an atheist or a Hindu, this would be the one stream I would avoid. And if you're sitting at home behind a computer and you don't have the courage to bring forward your religion and share it with others, discard your religion. It's just that simple. You don't believe in it enough to care about it. So why should we? Now, we could probably change up the topic and begin discussing the Mason Greenwood scandal. We can change. <coughs> we could talk about is Kaiseido worth 115 million? To the British taxpayer, yes. Yeah. And what do you think about Salah? 256 million of them. Is he going to move? Do you think he's going to move to. Is it Al Etihad? I think it is. Or Hilal? I think it's Al Etihad. Yeah, he's going. He's going. 200, I wouldn't give up 256 million. And I think they're done with him at Liverpool, to be honest. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm saying to you. And he's going to get a million a week. A million a week. Uh, that would be a very cushion. To be the thing is, though, the one benefit of this is he's sub celebrating Christmas. So, <laughs> no, I'm the, you I'm, won't be well, saying actually, Christmas. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Actually, not, not. these days, these days, they, they might pay him to celebrate Christmas there as well. Mm. So. Okay, someone says Kaisido is Tucho. I don't know what that means. Okay. Uh, where 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 is everyone? You know what? This arena is brutal though. You know that. It, it it doesn't leave room for any maneuver. No. Because there's always another gladiator to pounce on you when you try to reverse or try to switch or twist. Hmm. It's a struggle. It's a, unless unless you have confidence, you're not gonna come up. 
So I'm looking at the Christian world. They have the ability to stand on the streets and scream, but not come here and speak live with us. They can tweet all day long. They'll leave nasty comments in the YouTube comments, in the live chat, but they don't have the courage and the ability and the knowledge to come up and defend what they believe. This is the difference between Islam and any other religion. Us Muslims are here because we love our Islam and we know it's the truth. Uh, but let's yeah. see, inshallah. Allahu alam. Who knows? I wanted to ask you a question, Hamza, right? Uh, there's yeah. a story about the Prophet uh, uh, that the Qadianis just believe one second, Just one second. Okay, just a quick one. And this is a very, very quick one. Anyone in the chat who's abusing my mods, I'm going to ban. Not just time out, ban. And you won't be able to comment again on my channel. Just no. so you know. You'll be in the box of trolls with the Rob MTT, Mr. Smiths, like flipping. I don't know, it's about 300 of them. Yeah, you'll be going there. So if I'm, I'm checking the chat now. And if I see anyone abusing my mods, especially Chantel, I'm going to remove you. All right? Just so you know, Muslim or not, I don't really care. You'll be gone. Okay, sorry, Jazz, continue. Yeah, people got to be mindful. Hamza's stream, Hamza's rules, Hamza's platform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, I'm, I'm checking the chat the now. Mods, inshallah. Mm. By the way, Bengali. Um... No, Rosie ran away. Tail between his legs. So I, I don't understand. Just so guys, so people know, uh, uh, the biggest like polemicists of the Qadiana religion challenged Brother Yemeni to a debate. No, no, no. I, I challenged him. You challenged him. I challenged him. His... So, so I, this is story. We were, yeah. So we were at speaker's corner, and I was speaking to a Qadiani, and what do you call it? And afterwards, I challenged Razi because we found out that Razi was tagging his videos as speaker's corner i was like all right fine you want to tag your videos as speaker's corner come down here and face me like you've blocked me for over two years you didn't want to engage with me um i'm calling you out you're the biggest polemicist or one of the biggest polemicists if not the biggest um i'm calling you out and i've given him everything that he needs right i gave him his set favorite subject i gave him enough time to go through all the material that he could possibly have you know we want i said to him i'll give you a three-hour debate you take three hours of my time and we'll go through everything you have and then what do you call it drink i i compromised on the the, the format yeah uh, i gave him a platform uh what do you call it darwin over dunya he, he agreed to moderate and it's a 100k subs and i said to him i'm representing the muslims and islam on this subject and everything nah didn't want any of that he just and the thing is in order for him to uh to accept the debate in the first place obviously i went onto their stream and i said yes to him, i saw that yes. yeah and and, it, and what do you call it he i called him out there as well i was like all right, you you know this is a Q and A, but I want I've called you out before. I'm calling you out again. Let's discuss the subject in detail. So he was like, "I will debate you if you fulfill my condition. I only have one condition: read a text in Arabic and translate it." I played the game for a bit, but then I shocked him by actually doing it. And then everyone saw his face. He was like, "Oh crap! Now I have to accept." So he messages me the the next day. He comes into my DM. And says hi i say hello and he's like okay how do you want to do this so we start discussing how we're going to debate and everything and then he realizes um that i'm making the rules because i'm the challenger i challenged him with the debate and everything and i'm setting up the rules and everything and he's realizing my script is not big enough you know to fill a half hour time well, anyway, I'll say, I'll say the rest afterwards, inshallah. inshallah. Right, this is the crazy Carol Wright, who's like, reminds me of like a little old woman who lives in the woods, man. Carol Wright. Can you hear me? I'm guaranteed you're going to say that. Carol Wright. I, is she muted, maybe? No, she's... Yeah, she's, she's here. There she oh. is. What's happening, my dear? Yeah. Yeah. Just picture like a Hansel and Gretel cottage, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we can hear you. <laughs> I told you. Can you hear me? <laughs> can you hear yeah, me? Can you. Yeah, we can. Yeah, can you yes, hear me? yes, we can hear you. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I, I did warn you. Can you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, we can hear you. <laughs> I think she's got bad connection. No, she's muted herself now. Yeah. <laughs> no, we can't. We can't hear you now. Poor old lady. My goodness. You've you've muted yourself, Carol. What is she? She's British, right? Like, what, she, no, she's on? like, I don't know. She's like this old woman because I've seen a video, she's been on camera before, yeah. Like an oh. old woman in a Hansel and Gretel cottage in the middle of some woods, right? Okay. Really crap Wi Fi, and she's just hating on Islam. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? Can you imagine she's walking through the woods and like these bloody squirrels? They've got Honestly, the it's like been out of the Blair Witch project. Carol, you muted. No one can. She's probably going. Can you hear me? <laughs> can you hear me? <laughs> no, we can't hear you. You're muted. Car Carol, we can't hear you. Carol, you need to unmute yourself. It's amazing that they they can't find the mute button when it suits them. It's it's really strange. I'm just gonna kick her out. All right, let's just move on. Mm. Someone says, Where, "Where's, where's God Logic? Where's Sam Shimon? Where... They'll never turn up on streams like this." Where, where are they? Like where's David? Wood? They know about the. They know about the arena. They talk about it. Where's Christian Prince? Where are they? They're running pretty much. Uh, your your moderator in the back chat is doing a good job. Mm. But they're not answering her questions. It's just a little bit mean from them. Yeah, it's the early days, don't worry. What what's the point that these people come to the back channel uh -huh. to, to answer the questions? It's, it's really strange because you know they say that us Muslims, right? Our belief is so thin, you know, it it's it it's so clearly man-made, it's so abs clearly false that it must be stopped. And we give them the opportunity to do so. And they're absent. I, if it's that easy to defeat Islam intellectually, why don't you turn up to the debates about it? Why don't you intellectually try to challenge it? Just leave in comments, hit and run style. There's nothing to challenge Islam. You just give us further engagement, pretty much. That's all. Useful idiots by anything. I actually saw God Logic once. He's in a, 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 a clubhouse room uh, with one of his mates. And the mate says that the father has a god. And I, I was confused. The, I know they say the son has a god, but mm. the father, yeah. And God logic supported his friend in that line of reasoning. So there you go, guys. Christians don't simply believe that the son has a god, but that the father, who is a god, has a god himself. Where does they, it end? They slip into modalism very, very quickly, don't they? Mm -hmm. Oh, I a don't number even of viruses. I think they'll know what that means, to be honest. <laughs> so, Hamza, are you having fish and chips? What's in the burger? No, no, no. It's, um, it's a vegetarian, vegetarian pie. And uh, I think it's vegetarian. From and, Greg's, um, probably? Huh? Uh, like, like the Greg's type of pies? No, no, know? a pie. That's a pasty, mate. No, it's like, um, I think it's like a leek and mushroom or something. I think it's a vegan. Okay. I, mean, I think it's even a vegan pie. I'm not sure. Hmm. Sounds lovely, alhamdulillah. So Have you seen that character vegan games? I have no idea what you just said. <laughs> There's the guy called Vegan Games from Yeah, some... yeah, he debates, right? He debates, right? He was on here, right? <laughs> I was just eating KFC. <laughs> 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 and I kept it on. I kept him on just till I finished my KFC. <laughs> like, it was so funny. Well, wasn't he like exposed for being a fraud or something like this? Because uh, like he used to like weightlifting videos or something. That was his whole shtick. He got he exposed to like using protein or something. I'm not sure what it was. Long time ago, it's a name I thought was uh, dead. But who knows? Jazz, what have we done to my guests, man? They're afraid they're scared to death. I know I can just I can just turn off my camera and let's see if they let me let me change my name. <laughs> I'm gonna turn off my camera and change my name. There you go. Now they think Dr. Ramran is here. It's even worse. 
<laughs> oh, come on, Hanzo. Uh, that's his. That's his. That's his logo, bro. You got the Mandalorian going on there. Uh, anyone can like the Mandalorian. Let me, let me see. What what could I change my name to? Let, let me let me think of something funny. Okay, I can't think of anything funny at the moment. Come on, jump on, zealous Christian. Yeah. We won't debate you. We'll just chew you up. Okay, someone asks in the chat, what sect of Islam is the truth to follow? There is only one understanding of Islam, which is authentic. Ahlul Sunnah. That's it. There is no other quote-unquote sect to follow. He's not. It's kind of ironic to call yourself zealous Christian. But not, but have no zeal to come and defend your beliefs. <laughs> right. No, there's no one. There's no one. There's no one. Absolutely no one. It's like proper, proper. Spinal scared to death. Like, a, like, a, like an alley where there's nobody there. There was another question in the chat. Let me just see it quickly. Uh, uh, how do you do it? We don't pray to a vision of Allah. Someone's asking that question in the chat. We don't pray to a vision of Him. We don't believe that Allah has a body. We don't picture Him in order to worship Him. We don't worship an image or anything created. Hmm. I think you might be more familiar with like like pagan religions which have the need to do so. But when I say Alhamdulillah. I'm thinking of Allah's names and his attributes. I'm not thinking of a picture with words, a form, hands, a head. I'm not thinking of those things. Do we do we need to have an image in our mind when we're praying to God? I don't think so. No. You might be accustomed to that from your, your cultural beliefs, but being raised as a Muslim, I never thought I had to have an image of God in my mind. Well, if anything, it's well understood that anything you imagine, it's not Allah. Yeah, pretty much. Mm. But that's hard for some people who, who need, who, who grow up in a civilization where everything is based on images and drawings and paintings. They can't imagine a, a form of worship that is not based on an idol, right? It, mm. it just goes to show how much their fitra has been corrupted, that they can't conceive of something like that. And they made this claim, isn't it, that we worship the black stone? But there was a time I didn't know this that the black stone was taken from Mecca yes. mm. for like yes. for like twenty-one years. Yeah, yeah. And uh, they were, we still went Umrah, mm. still, still, still prayed to, towards the Kaaba. It wasn't like as if because the stone wasn't there, we didn't pray there. Mm. Okay, so so the person who made the comment follows up by saying, "So mm. you are praying to the unimaginable, right? If by you're confusing the word image and imagine, right?" In my mind, I know who I worship, but I don't have to think of a form when I think of what I'm worshiping, right? When I say Allah automatically as the Muslim mind, that's God to me. I don't need to picture him in my mind to worship him. I, I don't... But you have to be a Muslim to experience... I sound like a Christian saying this, but you need to spend time praying with Muslims to understand that we don't need to picture God. Mm -hmm. Hello. 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 What happened? Hello. Yeah. Hi there. How are you? I'm good, mate. How are you? I don't know what happened. Then why my thing wasn't over over his box? Hmm. I think you did have it up, but you removed. Oh, zealous Christian has come. No, I don't think I, I did. found the zeal. Well, let me try um, it. Let me see. See, look, it's it's not yeah, over. It's not, it's not fully over. Why? Not sure. Let me leave the stream and come back. <gasps> <laughs> Take your time, Hamza. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, we've taken over. Okay, Hamza, <laughs> alhamdulillah. Welcome to Ijaz's den. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> By the way, you guys notice how quiet Abdurrahman has been, right? Don't you find that to be a bit suspicious? Yeah, it is sus. Where is he? I'm not sure. I think it's one of these like Dutch things, you know, where they, they're silent all the time when they come online. <laughs> Okay, Hamza is back. No, it's not covering it. Why is it not covering it? Oh, is it because of that? One, one second, one second. The one comment. Second. comment. There's got a comment on the screen highlight. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. Uh, yeah, you're right. Is it? Uh, it, it? No. No. No? Huh? Yeah, I swear. Who's, oh, no, Abdul Rahman is missing. That's why. Hmm. What's Abdul Rahman, though? He just dropped. Hmm. Not the other way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like wit. Okay, Zealous Christian, welcome, mate. You're muted. How are you doing, guys? Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you, mate. How are you doing? Hey, you Just one me? second. Yeah, we can hear you. Yes, we can okay. hear you. Yes, yeah, yeah, we can it. hear you. One second. I'm going to give you a minute to make your point. Ready? Go. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, I, I think um it's I think there's like a delay or it's repeating or something like that. Cause you did you say that twice or no. Switch off YouTube. Oh, oh. Oh uh, okay, gotcha. Right. Yeah, yeah, I can hear myself. Let me turn my volume down. Um just, just pause your YouTube. Pause just pause your YouTube. Yeah, sorry, right. Can you guys hear me now? Yeah. Right, let me start the thing again. One second. Go. Right, why can't I hear you? Mm. So, guys, I can't hear you unless I turn YouTube up. No, turn YouTube off and watch through StreamYard. Yeah, it's on. Right, I've got you. Give me a sec. Right, how about now? Yeah, we can, we can, we can hear you. Mm. We ain't got the problem. You got the problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, sorry, I'm rubbish with tech stuff like this. Yeah, okay, no problem. So yeah, yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm not here to debate. Like I said, I just had some questions to be honest with you. Um, I was uh, baptized as a Trin Trinitarian Christian without even knowing it. When I was baptized, you know, I didn't understand what the Trinity was. Um, but you know, as as you read into the Bible, you start realizing that the Trinity, you know, doesn't really make sense. But anyway, nowadays I would consider myself. To be honest with you, leaning towards biblical Unitarianism, uh, but I'm also looking into Islam as well. So, you know, I've got a Quran, I've got Sahih al Bukhari, the, uh, the uh, nine book collection, I've got Sealed Nectar. So, yeah, I'm just starting to read, to be honest with you. Uh, but, yeah, like I said, I'm not here to debate. Okay, so, you consider so, yourself to be a Unitarian Christian? Why? Biblical Unitarian, that's where I'm leaning towards at the minute because I, I just don't feel like I'm comfortable with Jesus as God. So why should the default be something related to the Bible? Can the truth be something other than the Bible? Exactly. And to be honest with you, I feel like right now my my quest is truth. And like I said, I'm still reading the Bible. Um, I'm going to start reading the Quran properly, like all the way through. And like you said, you don't need to. Hope, you don't. Do you, you don't need to. Do you, you don't need to. So the thing is, you can't read the scriptures of all the religions to determine eventually mm. what the truth is. That's one that's going to take forever, and I don't think that God places that demand on us. But you can have an easy way, you can have an efficient method to determine what is the truth, not from the truth. It could be based on logic, which is universal, right? So... Would you uh, do you know the three laws of logic, the three fundamental laws of logic? No, no. And by the way, to that Jacob, um, the one who just mocked me, basically, uh, the zealous Christian was a name I used many, many years ago, and I just haven't changed it. So, you know, mocking like this, oh. to be honest with you, mocking like this puts people off. And What's that going on about? I'm saying mocking people like this puts yeah. people off joining the chat. You keep going on about people are not joining the chat, probably because of comments like that. You, you should I mean? ignore the, mocking, the chat. The mocking then. Tone. Don't What's worry, I've sorted YouTube? the pro I've sorted the problem. Continue. Yeah, it's YouTube. I would just ignore that. Um, it happens. Yeah. I get negative comments 24-7, right? This doesn't affect yes. me. Yeah, yeah. So do me a favor. Do, are you familiar with do you do you accept that if something is contradictory, it can't be true? 
Um, I would suppose so, yeah. Yeah, so you use that in everyday life, right? So, for example, someone tells you to stand, you're not going to sit because they're the opposite of each other. Someone yeah, tells you yeah. to walk, right? You're not going to run, right? So you understand what yeah. contradictions are. So yeah. I would argue that any belief that holds a contradiction is false. So we look at all the religions of the world and we simply apply logic to them. I argue that the only true faith would be the one which is most logically consistent and that seems to be Islam. Why? Because the way it explains who God is fits in with our reality of the world and it's non-contradictory. If I have to become a Christian, I have to figure out why God is both eternal, yet he is begotten, or he has knowledge, all knowledge, but is yet ignorant. So for me, I put Christianity aside because it violates that law. God can't be ignorant and all-knowing simultaneously. It's one or the other. That reduces it to me for Judaism and Islam, but because Judaism has that problem again with God's knowledge, Genesis chapter 6, verse 6, that God regrets, meaning he didn't have the knowledge to make the right decision, or he made a decision which he later found to be incorrect or wrong, that God is neither all just, all wise, or all knowing. So I put that aside. For me, that leaves only Islam. And so I then ask another question. If Islam is logically consistent, what does it teach about who God is? There is one chapter in the Quran, four verses, right, about 20 words long, and it explains who God is and why you should worship him in those four passages. A child could read it. A person with a very bad memory can read it. It makes sense, and it's understandable. You want to give that a go and tell me if you disagree with what it says about God? I don't know what it says about God. Um, All right. Uh, do, you, do you have the copy in front of you? I've got um, English translation, yeah, too. Yeah, that works. It's chapter 112. It's towards the end of the book. It's 112. 112. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, yeah, so purity of faith, is that is that the one we're yeah. talking about? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it, so it's it's our belief as Muslims... Or? Yeah, read it. Yeah, so we'll read it, but I, I just want to preface it in, yeah. with this one thing. If yeah. God exists and God created us, he chose to create us, right? He, he, Meaning that he wasn't required to create us, but he chose to create me and you individually. Then this mm -hmm. God wants us to know him, to, to, to have a capacity to understand him. So that God with that basis of reasoning I would argue he would give us something in a short form that says in the fewest words possible why he is the God he is and why we should worship him. And so he gives us that in four short passages. No other religion does the same thing. To read and know who the God of the Bible is, I have to read the Bible. But to know who the God of the Quran is, you just read these four passages. So just read it, and I want you to stop at the point that you think it says something you disagree with. Okay? Okay, yeah. Yep, so let's read it. Uh, go right ahead. Okay, so say he is God the one, God the eternal. He begot no one, nor he was begotten. Nor, yeah, um, no one is comparable to him. So obviously Christians would say that um, that limits God's power, doesn't it? If you're saying that he cannot beget or begot a person no, or a son. It, so it um, doesn't, so we'll come to that, right? So right. we agree that there must only be one God who exists because if there, if there is another God, then you can't say that there is one great mind controlling the universe, that there are two of them competing with each other. But we mm. don't experience reality as if two gods are trying to compete with each other to have power and control, right? Your life is linear every day in succession. You live a life that is fairly stable. You don't live your life as if you exist in the year 2023 today and later this evening you're in the year 1050, for example. Or you don't exist as if you're four arms today and five arms tomorrow. Your life is consistent and stable, which tells us 
that there is one ultimate power or controller of affairs. So this is why there must absolutely only be one God. So the Quran says, say he is Allah, the absolute one. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, I believe there is one God, yeah. Right, so <laughs> right. Sense, absolutely yeah. only one God. The second verse says, mm -hmm. uh, Allah who samad, or Allah who is the eternal, Allah who needs nothing, but everything which exists needs him. That should make sense, right? If you think mm -hmm. about it, God is the one who has always existed and everything else has been brought into existence. Me, you, every single atom and molecule came into existence because God is the one who brought them into existence. Nothing can exist unless God allows it to exist or has created it. Do you agree? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Right. But it's key, just remember that Everyone needs Allah, but Allah does not need anyone. He does not need me to exist. He can sustain himself. He doesn't need to create a chair to climb up on things and get something from the top shelf. He is the most capable, the all-powerful. So this is the mm -hmm. God we're speaking about. Then it comes to the third verse. He begetteth not, nor is he begotten. He begetteth not means that if God create. Let me ask you a question. If you have mm -hmm. a son... How many humans do you end up with? If there's only you and you, you have a son, how many humans mm. do you end up with? So two. Two, okay. So if God creates another God, how many gods do you end up with? If God creates another God. Yeah. How many gods I believe do you end if God, up with? I feel like if God created a God, the second God wouldn't really be God. Exactly. Does that make sense? So this is, yeah. Exactly. So this is why right. the Quran says, God begetteth not. God does not create another God because that's consistent with his nature of being the only God, right? So logically, another God cannot exist. And it continues, he begetteth not, nor is he begotten, meaning nothing created him. Because if so, whichever, whoever created God would have to be a greater God. But we already agreed that there can't be two. And then it comes to the last verse, and there is nothing like him. So in his nature, with his attributes, Nothing can nothing can exist which has the same knowledge as God, the same wisdom as God, the same power as God, the same eternal existence like God, right? If you and I have an eternal life, we were created at one point, but God has no point where he was brought into existence. We can live forever, but God is the one who sustains us to live forever. But there was nothing which sustains God to make him live longer. Does that make sense? He sustains yes, himself, yeah. right? So for yeah. us, that's Islam, you know, uh, that's the God that we worship. Tell me, why wouldn't you believe in that God? Yeah, I mean, so I don't have a problem with any of that. But like I said, um, I, was an, I was kind of like an atheist. I became a Christian and then I was, I don't want to say the word indoctrin indoctrinated, but obviously I became a Christian and we was taught that, you know, God is God the Father plus Jesus. So that that is, aside, that's the only... Mm. Zealous, put that aside. Is there mm. any other competent theology, any other competent understanding of God that is better than the other sign of God just given to you? I mean, for me, I, I like this, like I said, but yeah, it does obviously disagree with the Christian theology. But also, I would like to know about the character of the Logically. God. So, right, not just. Can I, can I just intervene? Please. Of course, yeah. Like mm. I just want to establish mm, some yeah. facts. Mm. Is it a fact that no two religions can be true? I would say so, yeah. All right. So only one religion can be true, yeah? I believe so, yeah. Mm. All right. And is it a fact that if Islam is true, Christianity is false, irregardless of what he says? I mean, yeah, they can't. They can't both be true, but fantastic because of the uh, the resurrection, the crucifixion. Fantastic. So, yeah. Is it a fact that Muhammad, peace and blessings upon him, existed in history? I mean, you know, there's some people that say he didn't, but I believe he did. I believe that he did exist. Historical, historical evidence says he existed. Okay. Yeah. yeah um, is yeah. it a fact that he made a claim that an angel spoke to him in the cave of Hira? Uh, yeah. Okay. So. Is it a historical fact that if an angel spoke to him in the cave of Hira, then Islam is the truth? If. Um, it depends on if that claim is true. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So if that okay. Really did That's happen, cool. Yeah. That's mm. cool. No problem. Okay. Now, what else could explain that claim? 
I mean, so as a layman, I mean, I've heard arguments that um, they say that the angel wasn't an angel. Obviously, they say you know it was, it was a demon, demon or something. Yeah, yeah exactly, Okay, yeah. okay. So that that's that's one uh, explanation. What else could be an explanation for it? Um, hallucination. I'm sorry. Hallucinations. So hallucinations. So mental illness could be a, 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 a an explanation. Yeah. Yeah, or his own uh, creation. Or, or a lying could be his expo yeah. the ex explanation. Yeah. Right. Mm. Do you agree that it's a fact? If he wasn't lying, crazy, or deceived, he must be telling the truth. Mm, I suppose so, yeah. Mm. Well, is it a fact? Can there be There's another no explanation? That's, that's what I'm thinking. There's no other option. Brilliant. Okay. So if mm. I can demonstrate to you right now he wasn't lying, crazy, or deceived, then are you ready to accept he was telling the truth? I would definitely take it on board, but I mean, yeah, I would uh, look into right. it further after, but I'll listen to you. Absolutely. Okay, cool. Okay. Can you give me an example of a mental illness that could produce the symptoms that you're accusing the professors of maybe having? What, like um, schizophrenia? Yeah. Schizophrenia. Would you, would you say that's the best? What would you think is the best explanation? What, for what happened? For the claim. Yeah. Um, for me, I mean, uh, probably demon to be honest with you i mean the demon would have to, okay okay that would okay. probably be the best because brilliant of, you know, the brilliant, brilliant yeah okay so what i'm going to do before i destroy that i'm going to destroy mm. the other two so you've got nowhere to run to okay yeah but hamza i'm not running do you understand that yeah this, this no no because as soon as i destroy the demon yeah. then you're going to say well maybe he was crazy or maybe he did no, but you're, you're, yeah but you're suggesting like i'm trying to trying to no 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 to, this is not this no, no, is not no. like that I'm just chatting to let you, me explain right? something to you just, if i destroy hmm. your claim of a demon right now you're going to jump to hmm. one of the other claims you're going to say these words a claim we just we just talking about options it's not a claim for me i mean i don't know like i said i'm a layman in these so which you think is the most likely yeah. Like I said, probably demon, but like I said, right, I, right, I, I right, mean, right, right. I'm not going to stand by it. Like it's actually my belief. No, but what I'm going to do, yeah. well, what we're going to do, you see, we're going to obliterate <laughs> that claim. But before we do yeah. that, we're not going to give you anywhere to go to after that either. So I'm going to take both mm. of the other sides away from you. Yeah. Mm. And you're just going to be left with your claim of demon. And then when we destroy that, then you have to concede he's telling the truth. Yeah, you convinced me now, Hamza, that Muhammad was a prophet of Yahweh. Do that. I, I just need to. Do you not believe? Do you believe Yahweh is Allah or not? Do you think that? Do you believe the God of the Jews is not is the God of um, God of is Allah or not? One second. Um, One that's, second. That's a different. That's that's a different argument, isn't it? Okay. Well, I'm going to make the argument. Are you ready? Yeah. Go ahead. Release the Wabai. believe in Allah would you care to mention anything at yeah, I, when I did before I'll do now also uh, oh, Allah is taken the name from Alaka Alaka which is we use that word all the time we have the same God as the Arabs we believe in the same God in one God <coughs> so it's a paradox see the Christians believe in the uh, Trinity the you know, to have whatever that's supposed to mean, but it's a part of it is their their God, who's the JC we call him, but uh, <laughs> that so that's uh, not our belief at all. We we're not allowed to believe in anything like that, and we're in better terms with the Christians generally than with the Arabs, generally speaking. But we have in common we believe in the same God. Right. As a matter of fact, I was speaking once to Rabbi Moshe Feinstein, the greatest rabbi of our generation. He said, Allah, that's the Arab, Arab's God, the same God that we have. He wasn't afraid to talk about it. They have the same God. But Allah means God, the Alukah, that we say, and uh, they believe in the one God who created the world. Was there an event that made the Muslims break away and change the name of God to whatever? Didn't change the name of God. It's Allah, that's the name of the God. What, they didn't there... break away from any. Why did they break away? They, they, they come from the children of Abraham, of Yishmael. We come from Yitzchak, and they come from Yishmael. Okay. So, from the horse's mouth, oh, yeah. from one of the greatest rabbis of this generation, Moshe Feinstein, mm. Allah is the same God of Abraham that they worship. So we don't want to mm. get... 
Yahweh, Allah. It's the same God. There's only one God. Agreed? Does that help understand that particular point? I can understand what he's saying. That would he would he say that Muhammad was a prophet? He would say he's a prophet to the Arabs. This is the difference you see okay. with the Jews. They right, they take right. prophethood as, as 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 kind of for their people. So their prophet was Moses, right. and Muhammad was a prophet for the Arabs. That's why um, Jews can pray in mosques. You know that they can pray. They make their prayers in mosques. Yeah. They can't make yeah, their prayers yeah. in churches. Okay, so can I just get clarification? So the Jews uh, believe that Muhammad is a prophet of Yahweh, but for the Arabs. Yeah, they've got they've got no issue and except the, and the Gentiles. Yeah. Huh? Okay. And the Gentiles they've no as well. Issue you know, the, the, uh, they've got no issue accepting an Arab prophet. Right. Okay. And and like like I say to you, there's a reason why Jews can pray in, in mosques. Because it's because mm -hmm. for them it's monotheism. They're praying in a place of worship of God. When they go they can't <laughs> pray in a church because it's paganism as far as they're concerned, because you're worshipping yeah. in a man as God. Yeah, mm. so that, that's how they yeah. understand it. So it's not Islam's an odd one out between the three religions. It's it's Christianity. But anyway, my point I'm making is this: mm -hmm. Yeah, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I'm going to destroy the idea that he was uh, crazy. Yeah, first thing he mm, said schizophrenia okay. could be the example. No, I don't know if you know the symptoms of schizophrenia: social recluse, paranoia. Yeah, mm, right. um, and and when we look at the life of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, it's a complete antithesis of what we see. So if you're looking at someone who's going to be schizophrenic, looking at the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi it's completely different. Also, you have, um, with mental illness, if it's left untreated, it deteriorates. It gets worse and worse. It doesn't get any better. It gets worse. Okay. Mm. But again, we don't see this. And there's a stream on my channel called Was the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Crazy? And we had a psychiatrist come on, and we went through all the illnesses that could produce these kind of hallucinations or whatever it may be. And we concluded that he could not have been crazy. Okay, so we can take that off the table. And there's another uh, video that you can watch. What's the process? I'm lying. Where we demonstrate how he had no motive to lie. He'd have capacity to lie. We can see through his lifetime the things we should expect a liar to do. He doesn't do. We don't see him with uh, palaces of gold when he was the leader of Arabia. We, we don't see him utilizing, you know, there was natural phenomena that occurred and the people tried to attribute to him as a prophet. And, and, and he was saying, this is nothing to do. This, this is... Uh, this is nothing to do with me. This is this is a natural phenomenon. When it was an eclipse, when his baby died, and they're trying to say that oh, this is recognizing his baby died kind of thing. And so, if it was a, a, what we should expect a charlatan to do is take advantage of any situation where the people are fooled or tricked or they believe that something down to him, he would say, "Yeah, you see, I am the Messiah." Do you understand? We don't see that. We don't see a man who's, who's a sociopath or a uh, narcissist. We don't see him executing his enemies when he returned to Mecca. We see forgiveness from him. Yeah, mm -hmm. we, we, see, we don't see what we should expect from a liar. Yeah, we don't have a character mm -hmm. of a liar. We don't have the actions of a liar. And we don't have the capacity to fulfill the lie that he's accused of doing. Okay, so trust me, mm -hmm. if you watch that stream, we can remove that. Now, Yemeni mm -hmm. is going to tell you why the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam wasn't deceived, why it wasn't a demon. Bismillah. Okay. All right. Um, so very simply... Um, before we get into the demon claim, um, if you, you know, when Rasul was met with the angel, um, he was contemplating about who God is and everything. Now, when um, when the angel spoke to him and said to him, "Read," the first thing he said to him was, "Read in the name of your Lord." Okay, mm -hmm. and so this is already saying that you know this is not this is not something that satan would do right or any demonic uh spirit because the sorry first... Yemeni, sorry sorry Yemeni, could you repeat that you cut out for about five seconds there yeah sure so this is not something this very first statement would not be something that a demon or or, or in any sort of evil spirit would say to the prophet peace be upon him because you got to remember that then the people that Muhammad peace be upon him was a part of, they were idol worshippers. They mm -hmm. first and foremost, you know, Satan wouldn't come to a people already worshiping idols and then start to say to a, to a man among them, uh, read in the name of your Lord, a single Lord, right? A single God. And then it expands, right? Iqra bismarabbika khalaq. Right? 
um, uh, he who created a man from a clot of blood. Uh, read and your Lord is the most uh, bountiful. Or, um, um, he who taught by the pen taught man what he knew not okay, so these are the first five verses so it's always it's straight away it's pointing to the not only one law but the one Lord who created everything you all right yeah with you yeah what are you with me yeah what are you doing? Yeah, yeah. Can you hear me still? Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. were you doing though? What were you doing then? It was intriguing. What? Who? You making all that oh, noise? Yeah, what? there was some noise. Oh, there was, was that noisy? noisy? Sorry, no. I was grabbing my notepad. Oh, oh okay. okay. That's good. That's fine. Yeah. So yeah. So the so this these five verses already negates um, the fact that it could be a demon, right? Because it's referring to one Lord. Who is the creator of mankind? Who, te who taught mankind what they knew not and how to be literate and to have information? Right. This is not something that Satan wants. He wants people to remain in ignorance because a lot of misguidance comes from ignorance. He wouldn't want people to worship one Lord. He wouldn't want people to acknowledge that this one Lord is the creator of mankind. Right, so this is the statements that have come from this encounter take away this idea. Now you've got the other side where if you know coming from a biblical perspective, Jesus is very clear that Satan cannot oppose himself. Right. So Satan can't then, you know, like just fight himself in order to misguide people. It just doesn't make any sense, you know, to make yourself the enemy in order to misguide. And the Quran is throughout um, reminds us of who the enemy is. That Satan is the accursed enemy, careful of the tricks of the of of Satan, right? And the teachings of Islam, the teachings throughout the twenty three years that Rasulullah uh, had his uh, mission, his prophethood, um, they go against sort of satanic or demonic acts you know to look after your parents to give in charity to smile is giving charity to be hygienic yeah uh, i mean we we get people that tell us that we're overly hygienic because we wash our uh, faces and hands and feet and stuff five times a day and this is over the top and we wash ourselves when we go to the toilet this is over the top and we're like no that's just you being disgusting this is just us being clean um mm -hmm. So, and when you look at people who do indulge in evil acts, they do the complete opposite. They're very unhygienic. They don't look after the people. They don't smile. They don't, you know. So you can see the actions of the Prophet, peace be upon him, his teachings. The message of the Quran itself completely goes against any idea of uh, it being a demonic uh, message or influence. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, yeah. Can I jump in with a few points or do you want to carry on? No, no, of course. Go ahead. Okay, so what Christians would obviously say is any message that opposes the crucifixion and resurrection is demonic. So as you obviously, as you know, Islam says that Jesus was not crucified or resurrected. So that's on that basis, they would say it's demonic. Um, and the second thing I would raise is uh, what is your opinion on these satanic verses? Did that did that really happen? Was Muhammad uh, influenced just, just by Just one second, just one second. Please, don't be so disingenuous. Respond to what Yemeni said. Please. Oh, sorry. How was that disingenuous? Oh, okay. You talk about satanic verses. What's that got to do? You just ignored everything he just said to you. Why would Satan send a man to go to pagan Arabs who are worshipping statues and tell them to worship God? Of Abraham, why would why would the devil do that? Why would the devil teach these same pagans that the that he the devil is cursed <laughs> and seek refuge from him? Why would the devil do that? Why would the devil send them to these people and tell them to stop abusing women, to stop um, slavery? Sorry. Yeah, to, to stop yeah, all. I, I'm not I'm not saying there isn't good teachings in Islam. No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not interested in what you're saying there. Really, I'm not. 
We're saying, right. why would the devil teach these things? Why does the devil want debauchery? Does the devil want chaos? Does the devil want people fighting each other or whatever? Does the devil want people worshiping statues and idols and false gods? Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes, yes. Does the devil want people to know he exists? No, 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 no. It's very straightforward. And, and as Yemeni said, because yeah, this I, is a I would agree with that, Hamza. I yeah. agree with that. And, and as Yemeni said, and as Yemeni said in the Bible, Jesus says Satan can't do this thing. You're accusing him of. Satan says because he's accused of the same thing in the Bible. In the New Testament, Jesus, the accusation is put upon him that you're Beasley Bub exercising Beasley Bub. And Jesus says, a house that is down, Satan cannot oppose himself. A house that is divided cannot stand. So when you see the Quran opposing Satan, abusing Satan, taking so seat from Satan, according to Jesus, this can't be Satan's work. Okay? Whether or not it agrees with the resurrection of Jesus is irrelevant. I mean, the, the, the thing is, it's like you mentioned about what Christians would say, but the Bible, when you examine it, it doesn't really teach that. The like I, I always say this about the crucifixion and resurrection. I say that the Bible uh, doesn't teach this concept despite explicitly saying it happened. Right. Because when you examine the, the scripture, it Jesus doesn't. Um, quote any prophecies of it happening right or that he is to die that the messiah is to die all right the the accounts themselves are contradictory um some of them even have a theological uh ramifications so for example with the when the curtain does it tear before he breathes his last or after that is actually a theological uh problem because if it tears before he draws his last breath the crucifixion doesn't actually matter or uh, for people to be able to enter the temple and and, and seek forgiveness um you know so there is a there's a bunch of different things so the bible itself doesn't actually give you a cohesive narrative and at the end of the day you don't have any first-hand eyewitnesses so it's all well and good saying what christians say and believe but when you actually look at the bible you'll see that's very you know it's contrary to what they believe uh, I mean, you know, even with uh, with Paul and what he thinks of Jesus, it's completely different to what Jesus would say about himself, what the disciples would say about Jesus. And, you know, I always like to go to Phil uh, Philippians chapter two, verse seven, where Paul is actually putting forward a theology about Jesus, which is actually con condemned as heresy later on. It's called the heresy of kenosis, right, or the empty God theory um so you know like i said it's all well and good telling us what christians say or believe but the evidence is contrary to that and you look at the talmud and what the jews have written about jesus and how he died they have a different account they believe he was hung and stoned they don't believe he was on a pole right you do have accounts in the talmud that say he was crucified but then you have another account that says he was hung and, and, and stoned and the Quran, when it gives you the account of what is what has happened, it's very clear that the people who believe this, they're not sure what happened. Hence why you're seeing so much discrepancy within the Bible uh, and what's been written about it and how people reacted and so on and so forth. As for the satanic verses, it's not an authentic um, narration. There is actually no authentic um, records or reports of this actually happening if, if anything the, the quran allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the quran is very clear in chapter 22 verse 52 if i'm not mistaken um that uh you know satan always tries to squeeze in and get something in himself within the revelation but allah always ensures that he fails so there's so that is your solace that nothing within the quran comes from satan himself because no matter so, what uh, he does sorry. yeah so go on. yemeni could you explain to me the verses uh does it say in the quran something uh, to do with is it uh those three those three pagan gods oh. could you remind me the names can i ask you a question before you ask me where are you getting your information from the father the son and the spirit 
No, no, no. Where, 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 are you, where are you getting the information from, Zealous Christian? Or not a Zealous Christian? Where, where are you getting this information from? That as yeah, if there's three yeah. pagan so. gods in the in the Quran. Do you, have you even read it yourself? What read what? Sorry, the Quran about these three pagan gods. Have you have you read it? I've I've watched some debates on it. Samuel Green, Adnan Rashid. Um, you, you know, I watched stuff. Right, on right. So you've read it, right? What does the verse say? Like that. When it talks about these three, the, the these daughters or whatever yeah. of Allah, yeah. What does it say afterwards? Yeah. You tell these me. Are nothing Allah but name you. you've invented. Yeah, Allah says in the Quran straight after the verse. Yeah. He says these are yeah. nothing but names you've invented. So Allah's right. basically saying you you're saying these three things exist. Allah saying these are nothing. You just made them up. Okay. But what's this got to do with what we're talking about? Because we was talking about um, the argument was, wasn't it, uh, whether Muhammad is telling the truth or whether he no, no, we wasn't arguing him. about that. Yeah, well, that was how it started. Um, no, 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 it wasn't arguing about that. Or, is he, no, we is, wasn't arguing about. Was I've already he, dealt he with the truthful one. Demon? I've already dealt with the truthful one. I've already dealt with the crazy. We're dealing with the, the <clears> demon, and we've already demonstrated. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Right. So, so are the I'm actions saying. of are the actions of Islam and the teachings of Islam? Do you believe are they demonic? Do I believe they're demonic? No, I wouldn't say so. I mean, so why are you claiming said, they come from a demon then? No, I'm asking the question. You keep saying I'm making a claim, Hamza. I'm asking questions. No, you. This is I'm your. You said questions. most probably a demon. You, you, this. I give you an option of three. You could have said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said which one most is most likely, and I said and you because said, of the continuous revelations. No, listen to what you're say saying. Demon. Listen to what you're saying. You're being asked a question. Do you think he was lying? Do you think a demon um, tricked him into thinking he was a messenger of God? Or do you think he had some kind of mental illness or something like that? Yeah. You had three options. You chose demon. And now you've just said nothing that Islam teaches is demonic. So why would you why would you choose demon? For me, like I said, for me, because of um I, I feel like it's too complex and too great for a man, especially a madman, to create. So this is why I would. Well, this is so why, why demon? Though towards. you don't see demonic. You don't see demonic teachings. Why are you saying demon? Because that was that was one of the options, wasn't it? Okay, but you don't see demonic teachings. Why would you say demon? No, that was one so, of the options so, at the beginning, so, wasn't it? So not so not zealous. Um, you know, yeah, just gonna you can, you can call me zealous. Uh, it's going to waffle on. It's going to waffle yeah. on. You've done a brilliant right. job. I'm going to let you go, zealous. Honestly, okay, that's it's cool. not yeah, that's awesome. Can I just say one more one thing sure. for uh, to him, inshallah? Yeah, of what do you put it? So, just because you know, we have four logical options, so just because yeah. the, the demon possessed or you know, the demonic influence or whatever you want to call it, just because it was an option, it doesn't mean you have to take that option if you don't believe that the option yeah. is plausible. So, you could have said, Look, I, I don't believe he was crazy, I don't believe he was lying, but demonic. It's, it's a Christian claim that he was demon possessed, but I don't see yeah. demonic teachings within Islam, so therefore I, I discount that as well. And obviously that will lead you to the fact that he would be telling the truth. But then you can you can say, okay, I don't think that, but then follow up with questions and say, well, I don't think yeah. it's you know demonic in nature, but why do we have these reports or these claims made by other Christians? That is something mm -hmm. different. But then to stick yeah, to it, yeah. You know, to sit to one of the options, just because the option is presented to you doesn't mean you have to take it. You can just say, no, nope, I reject that as well. He's most likely telling the truth, but I have some questions. No, you could say, to be honest with you, I mean, you, you, look, there's no way you can say he's crazy. And there's no, no. way you can say he's demon possessed. Unless you think, he's, if you if you think Islam is demonic, it's not a problem, then I would have get it. If you said, yeah. yeah, I believe the teachings of Islam are demonic and here's what they are. And therefore, if they are demonic, then its source could well be a demon. I get it. You can't turn around and say, well, I don't think the teachings are demonic, but I think the source is a demon. Well, why don't the demon teach demonic things then? It don't make no sense. So the best thing you should say, to be honest with you, is that I don't think, I think maybe he just wanted to change society for the better. Maybe he wanted to um, get the people to stop worshiping idols and worship the God, worship God and stop all the things they're doing. So he pretended to be a prophet so that people would listen to him and do what he said. That would make sense. But like, like I said, um, for me or for Christians, like I said, I'm not even, I don't even subscribe to Trinitarian Christian Christianity these days, right? But what I'm saying is any any message other than the crucifixion and resurrection is considered as demonic. That is the only reason why I went with that the, option. That's what I'm saying. Is. You can mix truth, you can mix truth and you can mix righteousness with a false message, it still means it isn't the actual truth. So, so you believe this is, is demonic teachings in Islam then? 
well if yeah so if the crucifixion and resurrection did take place if it did and islam is saying it didn't then absolutely yes but like okay. i said what does islam say about the crucifixion what does islam say about the crucifixion uh that he was replaced was he replaced on the no, cross I didn't say that. by somebody I didn't else say that. he wasn't no. jesus wasn't actually crucified no what does the quran say do you know what the quran says on these issues what on the crucifixion yeah what does the quran say about the crucifixion yes it says that jesus wasn't crucified and it was made to look like he was but he no, wasn't didn't say that somebody else was... no it doesn't okay, say well, that you tell me then you tell me then. okay so the quran says they, 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 no, no, they hold, say... up, hold up hold up hold up Go on. He, he's making a claim right why why you are certain what the quran does or does not say if you haven't checked these things out to begin with yeah, it mattered. Guys, I've, said to, I've said to you two or three times, guys, I'm a layman. I'm not sitting here telling you that I'm an expert on these things. No. I'm here to ask, ask questions. And so what you're doing, guys. I'll, I'll tell you what you're doing. You're mm -hmm. regurgitating really tired, poor argumentation from really bad Islamophobic Christian preachers. And you think they're going to fly here? And we're not going to question you no, and turn. No, I don't. I don't think it's going to fly. I'm telling you, one hundred percent is not going to fly. Do. I have one hundred percent is not going to fly. Free or free to refute it. This is why I'm no. here. I'm listening to no, you guys. No, refute what? You, you haven't got a claim. Hold up, Hamza, hold you, up. you just we, can't. We you can't listen to questions without getting aggressive, can you? That, That's the problem. I, I can't listen to that, foolish that, that, and that disingen is, disingen is, disingenuous nature. No, I can't. Hold up. He's not being aggressive. Questions. He's not being. Hold up. This facade of asking mm. questions, personally, it, it, this happens every single day when we speak with Christians. You will raise ten mm. claims. You will refute ten claims. And you will bring 10 more, right? It doesn't uh, course, matter. Don't just have 10, they don't just one have, second, they one second, just have 10. But it just, they won't just Let have 10 misconceptions. My... Can I please finish? I've got rid of him. So make your point, though, Jazz. I can't be bothered. Yeah, go on, yeah, go on, Jazz. Yeah, right. You'll raise 10 more points. It'll just keep going, right? So either it is, either it is you understand what the foundation is and what we actually believe and ask us about those things, mm -hmm. or you don't. Our job isn't to respond to all the misconceptions that you can list. Our job is to educate you on the foundations that gives us either a reason to engage with the misconceptions or not. But it's not here to sit here and answer your questions all day long. You are being challenged as well. So you can't simply throw claims without limit and then act as if we're unreasonable for not sitting here and engaging you with every single misconception you bring. A person who only brings misconceptions is ignorant, right? If you have the time to learn misconceptions, then you have the time to learn the answers. The same way you learn the misconceptions to begin with. Yemeni, Sorry. I've got a request for you. You know, I did sure. the, the claim, was the Prophet I'm crazy with uh, Sheikh Abu Isa, and I did Sharif's with the lion. Do you want to do the DC one? Yeah, inshallah. Why not? I, I, I like the way you coolly presented it. I liked it. A few tweaks a little bit. You, you, you let him sneak around a bit, but he was good, mashallah. Yeah. Uh, do a bit of preparation and yeah. uh, go definitive. Go yeah, and inshallah, we'll we'll do that one Friday, one yeah. one non arena Friday, inshallah. Inshallah, no problem. All right, and it's good. I was what because someone said to me the other day, Yemeni is good at this particular argument. So yeah. it was good that this guy came and I could use you then to bring it. That's, I was happy when he chose Demon, but come on, no, you know, people in the chat saying, oh, you should have given him a chance. Like, oh, look, look, look. If someone's claiming someone's demon possessed or demon inspired, and the teachings are not demonic, why would why would you say he's demon inspired? It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I mean, I feel I feel like you know he thought he had to choose one of the three options. That's why I was like, the liar is the easiest one. The li the liar because he, he can lie for a good reason. He could he could lie because he, he's altruistic. He wanted to see good in his society, and he wanted the people to stop doing what they were doing because society was bad. So he changed society for the better. That's that's you can get away with. It. You don't have to say he's lying because he wants to have a mountain of gold. You can say he's lying because he didn't like what he saw in society and knew the people. If he claimed to be a person of God, they might adhere to what he's saying. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. We can smash it to bits also. But oh, what I'm saying is, it's, it's, you know, look, there's three claims. There's a Christian claim, which is the demonic claim, which is pathetic. Then you've got the two atheist claim, the crazy and the lie. Other than that, it's Islam. Halas. And they, they know it. You know? And, you know, there's, 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 he was very disingenuous. That going about satanic verses. I was like, what? I mean, you know, me personally, I think he was, you know, just he saw these arguments and he wanted to 
fine answers, but obviously, you, you know, uh, we all have our we all have our, our opinion of how he came across. But w what was interesting is like the teachings of Islam and everything. That wasn't the problem. It was the crucifixion, which is quite confusing as well because like surely if there was anything that was demonic it would be to present god in a different light not the crucifixion of jesus it would be saying that jesus is not god that would be more demonic than saying well jesus didn't die wouldn't it be so uh that's that's something you know yeah but inshallah right. we'll go we'll go into in, in i don't think this guy's gonna last very long at all and he always gets suited and booted for the stream. Um, it's, it's, it's going to be the most... I'm, I'm telling you now, right? Listen, I've not even brought him on yet, right? His point I'm... is going to be so pathetic that Ijaz is either going to laugh, face palm, or switch off his camera. <laughs> hi, Hamza. Uh, hi, everybody on the panel. Thank you so much for taking me. Um, my name is Afif. Uh, I'm an ex-Muslim atheist and a YouTuber. And I just have a question about one hadith. Uh, YouTuber? How many After, subscribers you got, mate? Uh, not many. Um, How many? Um, 500 something, almost 600. Okay. Uh, so there's a hadith that I wanted to talk about with regards to women. This is from Sahih al-Bukhari, hadith number 304. It says, uh, narrated Abu Sayyid al-Khudri, once Allah's messenger went out to the Musalla to offer the prayer of Eid al-Adha or Eid al-Fitr. Then he passed by the women and said, O women, give alms, as I have seen that the majority of the dwellers of hellfire were you, women. They asked, why is it so, O Messenger of Allah? He replied, you curse frequently and are ungrateful to your husbands. I have not seen anyone more deficient in intelligence and religion than you. A cautious, sensible man could be led astray by some of you. The woman asked, O Allah's Messenger, what is deficient in our intelligence and religion? He said, is not the evidence of two women equal to the witness of one man? They replied in the affirmative. He said, this is the deficiency in your intelligence. Isn't it true that a woman can neither pray nor fast during her menses? The woman replied in the affirmative. He said, this is the deficiency in her religion. So my first question is, is it really true that women are deficient in intellect and that is why their witness is equal to half of that of a man in, in Islam? Are you serious? Before before that, Atif, um, I want to answer, because obviously this stream is about challenging Islam, making it, proving it to be false. How does this hadith prove islam false i don't think it proves islam false but i think it it shows but, okay no problem no problem in that case we would say bring a a source that would demonstrate islam to be false because let's be honest afif um you know that we've addressed this several times you already know this uh, i'm not so aware bring... unfortunately um I was okay, so you... we have a statement from Rasul where he says two things about uh women that they are deficient in uh, intellect, all right? Um, so let me read the uh, thing, yeah. Uh, deficient in intellect. 304, Bukhari, uh, 304. Right. Yeah, no, I'm looking at the report, yeah? And deficient in religion. Yes. Both are true, okay? For the reasons that al Islam has stated. But like you said, it doesn't, it doesn't um, mention, that. and the thing is, it's like, we can say this proudly because any sister in the chat, any woman, who is a believer would not argue this from a Rasul If a Rasul said so and, and given the reasons for it, they will say this is correct. This is part of our nature. Uh, he's simply explaining the nature of women. Um, so, like you said, you don't believe that this hadith proves Islam to be false. So, present something that you believe will prove Islam false. Because at the end of the day, you, you've presented yourself as an ex-Muslim, therefore there is something in Islam that has shaken your belief to the core that you decided, I can't do this anymore. So what is that? Uh, there, That's a good question, and thank you so much for your honesty. I wasn't expecting that, because usually when I um, ask Muslims about that, they try to twist it and turn it into something else. Um, but secondly, uh, if you wanted to ask, um, I think there are several reasons why I think Islam is not a true religion. But uh, one of them, probably the uh, the one of the biggest reasons, and one of the reasons before you I, waffle on, uh, yes, you think that we need women need two witnesses. Is that what you said? Yeah. No, no, I'm saying the hadith says that the witness. No, no, you said you said it though. You you said women's testimony and stuff. Yeah, half of a man or something. That's what the hadith says. 
Right, that, that's only that's only in one case. It's only, it's only with regards to the thing. Okay. Do you know who Aisha Anha was? Uh, she was the youngest wife of Prophet Muhammad. She was okay. Do you know the how many hadith emanate from her? I think she's next to Abu Huraira. Right. So where why where is this? Why are we taking them from this one woman if we need two? Because we're not following the hadith of the Prophet in this regard. Or you've misunderstood it. Or I've misunderstood it, yeah. Um, what do you think it is? I think that um, if based on the hadith that the evidence of one woman should be equal to that of one of two women should be equal to that of one man. Therefore, the narrations of Aisha should be, what? should be equal. Should be should um, need in one more woman. Of what? It doesn't say the hadith doesn't say in matters of what. Right. Look, um, if you if you look at the Quran, you'll be able to know it's mentioned in Surah Al Baqarah. No, don't don't. Uh, let's not give him the answer. Here's what I would say. Afif, as an ex-Muslim who clearly... He was, he was happy, didn't it? You were happy, didn't it? Yeah, happy, yeah. Is it? Can you recite uh, Surah Al-Adiyat? It's an easy one, that, Yeah. Wal-Adiyati dhubha, fal-muriyati qadha, fal-mughirati subha. Favorite surah, this. Fa'atharna bihi naqa, fa'asatna bihi jam'a. Inna l-insana li rabbihi lakanud, wa innahu ala dhalika l-shaheed, wa innahu li hubbil qayy l-shadeed. Okay, Masala. And so to Bakara? <laughs> Very long. Yeah, it took me and I, I don't even remember most of it. So just, just give me the first ten ayahs. So, okay, sure. Uh Alif Lamim Dalika al Kitabula Raiba fi Hudal Mutakin Aladina Yuminuna Bil Raibi wa Yukimuna Salata or Mim Marazakna Hum Yum Fikun. وَالَّذِينَ يُؤْمِنُونَ بِمَا أُنزِلَ إِلَيْكَ وَمَا أُنزِلَ مِنْ قَبْلِكَ وَبِالْآخِرَةِ هُمْ يُقِنُونَ أُولَئِكَ عَلَى هُدًى مِنْ رَبِّهِمْ وَأُولَئِكَ هُمْ الْمُفْلِحُونَ إِنَّ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا سَوَاءٌ عَلَيْهِمْ أَأَنذَرْتَهُمْ أَمْ لَمْ تُنذِرْهُمْ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ Last one, Surah Al-Nisa. Sure. يَا أَيُّهَا النَّاسُ اتَّقُوا رَبَّكُمُ الَّذِي خَلَقَكُمْ Okay, sure. Ya ayyuhan nasu attaqu rabbakum alladhi khalqakum min nafsin wahida wa khalqa minha zawjaha wa batha minhuma rijalan kathiran wa nisa'a wa attaqu allaha alladhi tasa'aluna bihi wal arham inna allaha kana alaykum raqiba wa I think that's I read, read the verse about, about women's inheritance sorry, uh, the women's testimony the women's testimony uh, you understand I, what you're reading? um uh, I understand some of it. Uh, I don't know um, very good Arabic. I know some Ar Quranic Arabic that I've studied while I was a Muslim. Okay, mashallah. Well, I, I, I accept you do understand. You memorize Quran, but maybe you, you were bullied as a kid at the mosque. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> sure. something, something's traumatized you. Um, anyway, so do you think you've misunderstood the Hadith or, the, or we incorrectly just believe Aisha and we ignore that Hadith? Yeah, I think um, that based on the hadith, that the evidence of two women should be equal to the witness of one man. In all cases, unless specified by the hadith, which it doesn't say that. In all cases? Where does it say that? It just says that by the default. No, um, no. In the Quran, what does it say? What, what's the matter well, pertaining to? We're not going to tell you, but what, is it, what do you know? Um, okay, so we're disregarding the hadith right now. So in the Quran, I think um, there's one verse that says that um, the um, the the witness of uh, so uh, one one man has um, equal authority to the witness of two women in um, financial no, transactions. In the Quran, what does it say? Yeah, oh, in financial, got... in financial transactions. So that if one of them forgets the other, in what in what in financial transactions? Financial transactions. Continue. So, so if one of them forgets the other one, can remind her. Right? right. Yeah, but that's not what the Hadith is saying. Right. That's a, that's what the, that verse is saying. But that's what oh, so that's not what the hadith say, but that's what the Quran is saying. Yeah, because the hadith would say so, okay. Yeah. So the Quran is saying what in financial matters? Yeah. And and the hadith, does it say it's not financial matters or is it something else? It just says in it doesn't say any qualifications, it just says no, but the Quran the Quran is clear because this hadith will be referring to this. So the Quran says financial matters, yes. Yes. Now what do you think women what do you think happens to women where you might need two of them? They're deficient in intellect. You might get pregnant. No, I think based on the hadith, it's because they're deficient in intellect. Right? So, so deficiency, is deficiency in intellect. You're deficient in intellect. <laughs> Sorry, go I on. Think, yeah, I don't know that. <laughs> deficiency in intellect doesn't uh, mean stupid, 
right? It just like like it says in the Quran that one of them may err, right? When someone makes mistakes and stuff, some or, or something so that is. It's easy to make it's easy to make sense of this, right? Aql, mm -hmm. reasoning. Well, yes. when you have a fiqh mu'am, a lot when you have the fiqh of transactions, there are many rules and considerations to have. And so, quite simply, for us as Muslims, uh, women who don't specialize in matters of transactions, what is and what is not permissible, what the calculations are, this is the deficiency being referred to. And it's very specific. If you go back to the hadith itself, it's under a specific heading, right? We don't simply take the hadith and try to mold them uh, into what our preconceived notions are. The hadith comes with an added context. And the Quran gives us that basis. Would that be correct, Yemeni? Or have we misunderstood what it says today? No, that's correct. And because, you know, I mean, you, Alhamdulillah, you zeroed in on the word that's used in the Arabic, which is aql, all right? Um, which, yeah, is reasoning, right? So it's not. Uh, it's not intellect itself. It's not. But it's, yeah, it's not the application of intellect on content, ideas, and beliefs. Yes. Right. And yeah. so in that society, and mm -hmm. even now, we don't find that the majority of people who study the fiqh of transactions are women. It's actually men. Why? Men specialize in that area because they tend to be the business people. Mm. It's quite simply the case. So I would argue here that you, a thief, you have applied a preconceived recency bias because up until 1950s, you don't have business women as we have them today. So why should the Hadiths try to answer a problem which up until now had not recently surfaced where does that where where does that authority and where does that basis come from and why should it be applicable to the hadith okay fair enough that's a good question uh, that's basically the question i had and uh, thank you for responding um but you didn't answer my I, question oh sorry what, what's your question i, I don't understand yeah if so, you could repeat that um, one more time the problem so my question was this the idea of women specializing in business, do you agree that this is something recent and yes. not something, right? So it's a recent social phenomenon. Right. It's still the case that the vast majority of applicants to business school, those who specialize in MBAs are men, not women. Mm -hmm. The vast majority of accountants are men, not women. I feel like I'm wearing a Jordan Peterson hat right now, right? <laughs> so it's simply the case that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in a chapter about women's menstruation, what they are allowed to do and not allowed to do while they are on their menses, mention something about the application of fiqh and their worship in that specific setting. That makes sense to yeah. us, that's what we understand. So my question to you, Afif, is why should that impact how we view women today when the context of it is for a time and place that made sense when women weren't in the business field as we find them today? How have you not committed the recency bias? Well, I don't think it would be uh, accurate even in the past during the time of the Prophet to say that okay. women are deficient in intellect because they're witnessing... In what the circumstance? In what circumstance? Of Hadith doesn't think? specify that. It does. What is the bab? What is the head in the... Uh, it does. What is the head in the Hadith is under? Um, uh, is it under menstruation? Yeah, so what happens during menstruation? Uh, okay, do you understand yeah, that? Yeah. Okay, let me put it. Are this you married? Way. Do you uh, I'd rather not talk about my personal life if I can avoid it. Um, okay, uh, are you aware life. of women having periods? Yes, are you aware uh, of the effects of women month before, month during, a month after? Yeah, do, do you mind if I just uh, phrase my question on that, uh, if you don't mind, just so you can answer it uh, properly? So my second question was, women are not allowed to pray or fast in their menses by Allah, not by their own choice. So why does that mean that they are deficient in their religion? It doesn't mean that they're deficient in religion in the way that you've understood it. It means that they will tend to do less. And then after the time in which they have prayed, uh, sorry, after the time in which they have their menses, they have to make up the salah make up the uh, whatever things they were meant to do before their menses, they have to make up for it. So they don't, have, no, they don't, they don't. Mm. Praying and fasting. They make I... up their fasts. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. But not the not the salah. Not, not the I will grant the fasting, right? Because yeah. this is actually about some fasting. Thank you. Mm. The actual heading is 
for fasting for women in menstruation. It actually says that. I don't have it on the screen again, but Jessica Lechairen, brother, um, what's his yeah. name? Hamza. Right. So it's actually, that's the heading. Chapter, a menstruating woman should leave observing fasting. Yeah, but that's what Sahih Muslim, uh, uh, Imam Muslim came and added. The heading doesn't exist in the Hadith itself. The Hadith is describing a situation mm. in which Prophet Muhammad was is explaining if, in very general terms that the deficiency in intellect. What does deficient mean? It's not. They have, lack, they have lack of intellect and religion. Less. Less, yeah? No, yeah, less. Less, exactly. Hold on. He says Imam Muslim. So it's in Bukhari, by the way. But you oh, said, yeah, sorry. Bukhari. You said he added this. Did you read the Hadith? Uh, the hadith by uh, the one that I just read today, the Abu Sayyid. Yeah, the one that you quoted. Yeah, yeah I just right. read it in front of you. Yeah, yeah. What does the last two lines say? Does it mention women and menses? Uh, it says, Isn't it true that a woman can neither pray nor fast during her menses? The woman replied in the affirmative. He said, This is the deficiency in her religion. So it's speaking about menses, right? Yeah, for the religion, yeah. yeah. Right. Uh -huh. So he didn't add the context about menses. This is the reason he's narrating it for women in menses. Do you understand that? Yeah, I agree with that. Uh, that that is talking about women in menses, but I'm saying, why does that mean that she's deficient in her religion? Again, I just answered that question that they have to make up what they would have not done while they were on their menses. And oh. most women, the Prophet, uh, this is what he actually mentions, right? They don't make it up and they weren't grateful. Hmm. Okay. So, how, that makes sense. do you understand in Islam, the men and the women have rules and responsibilities? I am deficient in my rules and responsibilities when I don't fulfill them. Is that correct? <laughs> Look at the sister said. I hate everyone when it's that time. I can't help it. Everyone gets on my nerves, especially men. May Allah forgive me. <laughs> That's no, the whole, you uh, shouldn't have. You I mean, I guess. You yeah. You shouldn't yeah. have read that because now technically <laughs> it looks like. <laughs> it's like <laughs> yeah. Anyway. I think I yeah. answered that question. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, and, it, and it still it still leaves uh, like you you've already admitted this narration has got nothing to do with Islam being false. Yeah, that's true. It doesn't. It just um it talks. It just um gives uh, people a window into the mentality and the the thought process. No, look, of look, Afif, Afif, look. Yes, we know that when a person leaves Islam, they try to sow seeds of doubt in the minds of people. But what you've done is provide a hadith where you thought you could plant that seed and simultaneously say this seed is not going to do anything um no i think it'll make people think uh it'll make people think if that right. if, if hold on that, a second right. yeah Perfect. sorry yeah so you come you came on here and you were like there's a problem i'm here to challenge islam there's a problem with the hadith i think this hadith is going to make people think but i'm telling them that it's got nothing to do with islam being false yeah i think uh, i was wrong on that um i think um the truth is that it would raise some doubts about the veracity of Islam because if Prophet Muhammad's really speaking to Allah and Allah is the Lord of the world, then he wouldn't um, you know, tell Prophet Muhammad to say things like this very general and uh, demeaning towards women in general. Was it my point of view. Not I think general or well, hold on. First of all, it wasn't general. It was very specific. right? It was specific to a specific time in uh, um, in a woman's specific life. Specific group of women, specific, specific circumstance, menses. Just yes. so you're aware, women are not yeah. always on their menses. And, and at the end of the day, this, uh, the woman was present. You know, she was asking the Prophet, peace be upon him. She wasn't offended, right? She wasn't, she didn't feel demeaned, right? She, she actually agreed with him. Yeah, no, but why is a people offended on behalf of her? I'm just curious. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, because just as a human being, um, I I would not. Um, first of all, I wouldn't agree that women are deficient in religion or intellect, and secondly, I don't think it's right for the prophet to say that to single out women and and have those kind of views about them. Does Allah know more about women than you, Prophet Muhammad? Uh, no, the, Allah. Uh, Allah. Allah. I don't believe. I don't believe that. I, I believe that Prophet Muhammad is Allah, right? That 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 Allah, that Prophet Muhammad is uh, Allah is Prophet Muhammad in disguise. Afif. Wave to everybody. Thank you so much. The wave, got a wave. Oh. Go, oh. go like that. <laughs> Such a nice guy. <laughs> no, this is this is. Um... I, just have to keep I, I, I don't understand the objection here that Allah cannot say. Mm. Sorry, that 
it's wrong to say that women on their menses mm. experience things which are negative. Mm. They, they have negative effects when they're on their menses. No. Month What's before, month, a week that? before, a week before, during, yeah. and a week after. Yes. There's, there's like a one week of grace we have. Because <laughs> then it's coming, it's on, and it's remnants. And then we yes. get like one week of woo! And then, so no like, one can say anyone is deficient about anything. That just don't make sense to me. Where do these magical rules come from? Mm. Oh, like, I mean, it's a problem. Yeah, and I mean, I'm, by the way, by the way, Hamza, thank you. Yes, women don't need to make up the salah. Sorry, guys, I'm not a woman. I don't practice the figure of menstruation. Not <laughs> something when an expert in, okay? That says more about me than you should know. Right. Yeah. Researcher. You muted. Hello? Hello. Hello. Uh, okay. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. One second, okay. let me set the clock and then you can make your point. You got one minute to tell us what you're doing here. Um, actually, yeah, you know, Muslims, uh, Islam is the true religion, right? But Are you Muslim? Yeah, but Muslim. Oh, mashallah. Asalaamu Alaikum, brother. I'm, I'm an Ahmadi Muslim. I'm an Ahmadi Muslim. No, you're not a Muslim. You're not a Muslim, man. No, I'm an um, that's, that's a problem, right? That's a problem. Can I be bothered? Can they are bothered. going against Prophet Muhammad's uh, teaching. No, I right? think we should keep him. I think we should keep you him. You want to keep him? You can. You want to play with him for a little bit? Go on then. Yeah. Okay. Not not in that way, but so so the, so the Muslims of uh, you know the current Muslims, you know they are going against the two teachings of Islam. For example, uh -huh. the Islam is the biggest gift of Allah, right? And the blessing. It brought the maximum blessings. One of the blessings is God's connection with human beings. And for example, prophethood, right? Um, Islam has this blessing. Allah Ta'ala always sent prophets. And that, that's the greatest uh, miracle. Um, they, they show miracles of Allah. But now you guys believe that prophethood has stopped, right? Although the, the Quran, even even if you if you uh, if you do um uh uh ala muhammadin wala ali muhammadin kama salata ala ibrahim wala ali ibrahim inna ka hamid majid that a uh, a lord or oh lord give us the same blessings as you gave to prophet ibrahim alayhi salam right now the prophet ibrahim alayhi salam in that in, in his ummah there were prophets but you you guys are stopping that blessing you believe you have a problem in your belief that you are stopping that blessing from for for Muslim. Uh, okay, let's. Uh, Muslim can you Muslim. can you can you answer me a question? How yeah. many prophets do you think have come after Muhammad Sallallahu After Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, he prophesies there will be no, no prophet between him and 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 the and the. He hasn't Bible made a point yet. Yeah. He hasn't made can an you, argument yet. Can you? I want him to no, answer. The argument question. is that you you guys are. Have a belief, have stopped the blessing of Allah by believing that the prophethood has stopped. Okay, and you so are actually, please actually, answer the question. Please yeah. answer the question. How many prophets have come since Muhammad? So there, was, uh, there was no prophet between Masih Maud and Hazrat Muhammad. After Hazrat Muhammad, Isa Ibn Maryam was prophesied to come, and between them, there were no prophets. Hear my question again. So, you, okay. why are you not able to get it? No, answer the I question, did, I did please. Answer your question. Right. So, the Prophet Sallallahu died in the year 632 CE. We were in right. the year 2023. Between 632 and 2023, is there anyone that you believe in who arrived between that time that claimed to be a prophet and is valid? After Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him, there was no prophet till. The advent of Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmed al Islam, who was a prophesied uh, mm -hmm. Masih Maud, as prophesied by Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. A prophet did come after Muhammad Like 1400 years afterwards, yes. No, so, so, I, so, all this time, I asked you one question Did a prophet come? And you could have just said yes, right? You didn't need all the song and dance. Okay. I did so answer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't want you to. Thank you. So, how many more do you expect to come? 
so uh, uh, you know we can't respect allah taala god knows allah taala knows but what no, no, we hold on hold, hold on you just said to me that we sunni muslims stop the blessing yeah you Are you, you saying okay stop the blessing right so and if we stop the blessing of prophethood doesn't it mean that you stopped it after mirza gulam ahmad or you believe someone's going to come after him the prophethood is continuing you can't restrict allah taala so more going to come allah taala uh, god knows allah taala knows but how can you stop that blessing so how do you know i didn't stop anything how do you know when another one will come how will you recognize them you recognize based on quran any no, one of the, has one of any the, other come that you recognized or no yeah one of the basic very basic the quran, quranic verse any false prophet who associates uh-huh. false things with allah taala allah yeah. taala will kill him he is not going to survive okay? okay how did your boy die how did how, how did he said that you you know that in the quranic verse how did your prophet die he he died like natural death where he lived, he lived up to they, oh, 30, where, did, where, did, where, did, where did he die so okay you are if you are a good muslim you no. should not no no where did your prophet die he, uh he he died on a bed like a like a uh he died like, on a bed or died on a toilet he died no, on no, his he, bed he, he died in his bed. his bed he died in his bed you have become no, it, like it's you a misnomer. who used to abuse uh, who used stop to getting emotional stop getting right emotional i just want to kick him off no keep him keep him we covered we corrected the misconception yeah we corrected it You upset you that I agree with and, you. And you died on the bed. Look, Mirza. Look, Mirza yeah. Ghulam al Dajjal. Right, he um, was suffering from uh, cholera. Uh, uh, cholera. That's it. And he died in his, his bed. However, he was defecating himself. And his son had to hold his legs that down. Also, yes. his that's son right. also, his son writes. His son writes. So his bed was the toilet. Yes, his okay. son had to hold down his legs. and he testified three times that Mirza Ghulam Ahmad suffered a looseness of the bowels and that he was unable to control it when he died to That's the correct. point he was no 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 the last Next last the bed, time he went to he went to toilet he went to bathroom was at 2 a.m. and then and you think that, he died at 10 a.m. He, he was going through different uh, sufferings he got became unconscious and then he became a little conscious then he did he did pray in the morning fajr namaz and then he died around 10 am okay so here here's where you're wrong here's so, what, so, yeah. let me engage with that let me engage yeah, with why, that why right? why we are going there you know you know let the thing is you can't no. you know you can't Let's argue on, a, on on the qida you can't argue no. yes we will nothing a please, a please 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 right allow us to you make the point because you raised the question please you raised the question of how did he die so allow us to answer it right You raised it, not us. If you I wanted to discuss Akida, if I you did. wanted to discuss Akida, that should have been the first words you came in with. But I let's explain you. to you. Let's explain to you how Mirza died. According to your own testimony, it is scientifically impossible for someone who has continuous diarrhea and word for word a looseness of the bowels that they will not be defecating upon themselves That's when true. you have cholera. and you are literally leaking from your anus you can't control it because the looseness of the bowels means you don't have the ability to clench the muscles okay, your you, boy can clench you, you need to If get out of clench up lies please listen, listen answer listen, your question. own translation on al islam you are getting into the same problem the you got into okay you're please, getting let into me the finish the answer You are just you asked making a question. I didn't ask the question. Let me answer it, please. I asked about prophet. You asked us how he died. How did? You, how did he die? No, I think I think the root of you. Yeah, right, let me Bura. answer it then. But because yeah. he mentioned the ayah, the prophet would be killed if he yeah, was a false prophet. He did. So I'm putting the question to you. Do you agree that he, he defecated himself he and had a looseness of bowels? He lived more than 23 years after he claimed. or he claimed that he got prophecies or he got uh, you know ilham from allah taala allah taala yeah, said whoever, whoever whoever associates a lie with me i am mm-hmm. i he's not going to survive i'm going to kill him right okay, his thank you prophet muhammad peace be upon him 
Answer me a question. Two to three years after the first wahi. Okay, thank you. After the whole PCPM lived 23 years. How okay. can a liar, a liar, a liar proper, proper. Easy, I'll answer you. Easy, I'll answer you. Three years. I'll answer you. Years. Let, after, thank you. Let, let me answer you. He, you don't he, need, can I answer the question? When they are going can to I answer die, the question? Can, can I answer scandals. the question? Can I answer the question, please? I've muted him. Right. Unmute him. Unmute him. I'm going to ask one question. Yeah, unmute but he, no, he doesn't shut up when you're asking. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll unmute so, him when yeah. it's time to yeah. answer. Yeah. Answer this question. Answer this question for me. How long did Musailama al Kazab live? Masalma al Kazab was killed. His followers, you can't don't find them anymore. His, How long his, did he live? It, it totally ended. He was he was killed in a battle. And how long it, did he live? That's how it happened. How long I, did he live? I, I'm not I'm not sure. You made the claim that the, a false prophet would die, and the implication here was almost instantly Musailam al Kazab claimed it to be a prophet. At the same time as Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, but God did not kill him instantly. So by that logic, not by that I logic, by that logic, Musaylama and man. Mirza are the same because Allah allowed to... them to live. No. So all you've proven to me it is God that if you were alive, somebody. mute him again, mute him again. All this has proven to me is if you were alive at the time at Musaylam al kazab you would have said God did not kill him instantly, therefore he just like my daddy Mirza. And I reject this. Yeah. So instantly is not what I'm saying. Okay. This is a proof for you guys. <sighs> no, After he lived mean. till the age of 74, he, he did not live. He didn't live. He didn't he didn't live till the age of 74. He didn't live till the age of 74. I'd rather just chat to you guys. I can't listen to him anymore. Yeah, just so you. I can't. Know I, can't I know. I know what he's saying, and I just can't do it. He hasn't it's actually in... made a single point that whole no, time. But... Not wasn't a single point. I just can't. I can't tolerate it. Try. No, his logic is utterly ridiculous. Someone well, he, mentioned he uh, the. Uh, every day, Christians believe another prophet has come. You go to Africa. There's like ten of them each day, right? Uh, this prophet and that prophetess, right? By this guy's logic, if Allah allows them to live, then they're true prophets. Why isn't he Christian then? And imagine the ridiculousness. He thinks that we've stopped the blessing of prophets to come, right? But by his own logic, he doesn't believe in another prophet after Musa. So he stopped it too. This no, he too does. He does. This is why I said, that, oh, we don't know how many more God is going to bring. He says, we don't know what Allah knows. Because they believe that there is going to be more. Yes, but that's the thing. That's exactly what the Dajjal would want. And yes, this brother is right. I want Kadi Anis to answer me a question. What does looseness of bowels mean? Right? If use your mind for a moment, the looseness of bowels means you don't control the anal muscles, right? The sphincter, if you don't know what it is. Mirza Sphincter Ahmed. He couldn't control the sphincter muscle to stop the flow of defecation. A person who has cholera, and according to your own sources, he was not able to stand up. He was literally leaking, mm. right? So you can't say between 2 a.m. and 10 a.m. he was clean, that he had no defecation upon him. Yeah. That simply means you don't understand what diarrhea during cholera is. It's that simple. So yes, he died a cursed end, and he hit his head on his bed, and he wasn't pain. He fell back, and his son had to hold his legs down. That is not death with dignity. That's that as a Qadiani. Sorry. Yeah, humiliation. Compare this with Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam dying in the arms of his beloved wife. No one need to hold down his legs to stop him from defecating. Muhammad Daniel, you're a Muslim. Muhammad Daniel, you're a Muslim. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, did you read the link? Uh, yes, I had. I did. What does it say? Uh, it says about non-Muslims joining, but I, I just had to make oh, a point no, what about this. No, read it. Read it for me. 
What, what does the link yeah. say? It says about non-Muslims joining. No, what? Yeah, well, how does it say it? What does it actually say? Here yeah, is. Um, yeah, non-Muslims who say that their claims are uh, about about their beliefs. Right. So, are you here to challenge Islam? No, no, no. I'm here to counter oh, this okay. guy who's making false claims about it. Yeah, sorry about that. You know. sorry about it. We don't need another cloud days, but thank you. I'd appreciate it. All right, dude. Assalamu alaikum. We don't we don't need any gladiators to come on and help respond to the arguments. Why is it that Kadianis don't know how to be silent? Like you ask them a question or they ask you a question and never allow you to answer it. They're triggered. They're constantly triggered. It's an inferiority complex. I'm an Ahmadi Muslim. No, you're not a Muslim. Please call me a Muslim. Anyway, let's uh, do we have any other uh, victims? Any more victims? Let's get to death, bro. Have you seen my Have you seen my comment though? My uh, pinned welcome. <laughs> oh no, I didn't see it. Let me see. Uh, here's the link for those brave non-Muslims who are brave enough to enter the arena. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's scaring them. I don't think I said anything offensive to the Kadiani community. I spoke facts. Facts. So it's just like he didn't die on the toilet, but he died treating his bed like a toilet. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Oh, okay. I, they say he defecated next to the bed, right? He couldn't make it to the, the toilet, so he defecated next to the bed. Anyone who is suffering from cholera, they leak feces all over themselves because the muscles, they don't longer have the strength to control them. So the thing is, if you're leaking next to the bed guess what you're gonna be leaking on the bed it doesn't stop and if they say for eight hours he was so strong he didn't leak defecation why does it say that he had looseness of the bowels your own writings not ours you can go to alislam.org those are what your own like messiah uh, your own khalifa you know approved website that's the documents that you have not us i didn't make it up well, this is a really poor guest. I mean, I mean, the arena guests have been really bad, but today. I think you shouldn't have brought Abdul Rahman or Yemeni. It's just ruined it for us. I, I think you scared them all. I think what we'll do, I think I'm going to reschedule. I'm going to end this one soon because it's, well, one second, my PA. What do you want? Let me get rid of her. Um, I think I'm going to reschedule. Do you want, we'll just do this, three of us again, next time. Inshallah, I don't mind. What happened? Ben made a big error this time. He didn't advertise the arena until like an hour before it was live. So, we need to. I paid, uh, I, I, paid, I paid him to do that because. Oh, is that what it was? The quality of gas, I'm afraid of them. So, I thought if he did it at the last minute, I would get an easier time. Yeah, no, no. We need to um, we need to get a fishing fishing thing going. We need to be advertising at least a week before. At least a week before. We need to put I didn't advert. know. I was texting you, Hamza. When is this happening? Yeah, no, I know, I know, I know. I didn't know. I didn't know. And then, um, like I said, put, advertise it on TikTok and Instagram and Twitter and everything, so we, we get these people. All right, Hamza. Then I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Oh yeah, I think I'm gonna call. You're right, guys. Because it's, it's pointless because there's no one here. It's just, what's the point? Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, fine. I can't be bothered wasting my time with these. Cardianis. Um, Cardianis. And I'm. And I'm right. like... Subscribe. So yes, yeah, so I'm gonna let you guys go. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum. Take care. Just a couple of guys. Well, salam. Are you going to be the next time, yeah? We'll just reschedule for two weeks' time, yep. yeah? I'm, I'm no problem. Good. Yep, inshallah. inshallah. Let's, let's even get a salam of Abdul Rahman. Can you at least say salam, Mr. Abdul Rahman? Yep. Yes. <laughs> How are you doing, bro? Can I, can I book you again for the next time? Because we'll do proper advertising next time. Because this has been for two weeks' time. Abdul Rahman, you good? Two weeks' time? He's done a cover on us. Hey, hey, can you hear me? Yeah, we can yeah. hear you. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry, sorry about that. Yeah, sorry about this, guys. It's been really no messed up here. Uh, yeah, 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 I can. Yeah, next time is next time. Yeah, it should be doable, inshallah. I mean, inshallah. All right. Salam alaikum. All right. All right. Salam alaikum. We'll do it. All right. Yemeni, thanks for coming. Uh, I'm going to book you. Start doing it. Start putting something together. Yeah. Okay, then, inshallah. Yeah. No problem. All right. Do you know what next Friday is too soon? Yeah, too soon. Um, what do you call oh, it? We'll do, we'll do it after the next arena then. No, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, three so weeks what? Time. Three right. weeks time. Yeah, no problem. Uh, one, yeah, oh. I can do three weeks time. All right, inshallah. All right, right. salam alaikum, guys. Bye bye. Take wow. care, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.
Sorry, guys. We're gonna we're, we've been on for two hours anyway. There was no decent guess. It's pointless carrying on. I feel like I'm fogging their Oh, yeah, your background, your back, your background, your background. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. creeping across. Oh, All no. right, dude. Bye, Bella. All right, take care. Salam alaikum. Bye, sir. Salam alaikum, um, Abdurrahman. Wa alaikum salam alaikum. Go look after that baby, mashallah. Yeah, inshallah. Salam alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Okay, guys. Uh, apologies. Uh, the guests are rubbish. Guests are scared. We need a bit, bit of better planning. I'm absolutely tired. I, I'm literally exhausted. So, um, going to say goodbye to everybody. So, until next time. Assalamu alaikum. Arahmatullahi barakatuh. I'll see you for maybe a, maybe a shop live tomorrow. Maybe, 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 maybe. Other than that, it'll be Sunday chill. Okay. Assalamu alaikum. Arahmatullahi barakatuh. Here comes the lion. Thank you.